Okay. Oh well. That's a nice surprise. It's raining. There's a guy there. Alright, let's get away from the guy. We could team up with the guy, but that would be too easy. Okay, well, I hope you're all good, guys. Uh, like I was saying the other, well, on Twitter and, and yesterday and the other day on stream as well, my kids are here this week. They're at their grandma's today for the day, but today's the only day they're doing that, so this is likely the only stream until Sunday. Uh, and I can probably stream until about 8 o'clock, so like a regularish stream, sort of 8 hours long, something like that. Uh, I would have started earlier, actually. I could have started earlier, but I was waiting for the patch, and, and obviously it's here now, but yeah, anyway. Thanks, I've had nine stitches in the head, plus it's on my non-dominant had it's on the left index finger, so this injury is nothing, yet the little bastard stings. It's on your non-dominant hand. Ah, oh, very good. So it won't affect your uh, writing. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shadow Phantom. Really, really appreciate it. I hope, hope you keep on keeping on. The real question, and you need to answer it in the chat, you don't need to answer it with a tip, right? How did you do it? You know, what did you do? Did, I don't know if, I don't remember you saying that. What did you do? Uh, was it a writing incident? <laughs> uh, I'll try and catch it in the chat. Don't tip to tell me, okay? Uh, Baracko, thank you very much. Chef, PS52, thank you very much. Enrage, cheers for the support. And Lorax, thank you for the seven months. You're all very kind, guys. Thank you very much. Lago, got out of your car, so your writing is back to normal. Very good. I mean, your writing. <laughs> The knife and chopping board, a uh, cutting board, slipped out from under. Come on, blimey. I, did you say you had uh, nine stitches in the head? That's a hell of a one, isn't it, Shadow Phantom? If, you've, if it was a knife and cutting board, and yet you've got stitches in your head and your hand. Holy shit. I suppose that's got a hook on it, is it? No, I didn't think it would have. <gasps> Fishing stream. I want them to add, like, extra fish. I want to be able to fat catch, like, a stingray or something. A manta ray. Or a uh, prickly thornback ray. Or a minnow. <laughs> Lorax, thank you very much for the seven months, dude. Really kind. Thank you. The map command has to be updated by mods. Give them a chance. Have I found the Essica underground milli base? Essica. I don't think I have found an Essica underground military base. Where is it? Do you mean the one that's under the zoo, or is there another one that I'm not aware of? Real Don, thank you for the 24 months. That's very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's not much of a milli base under there, is there? There's a bit you can jump off the wall and land on a ledge and then go and find a, get in a couple of extra rooms. Thanks for your vids and streams. Done, gamer. Yeah, you have to link it. It's easy to do once you've linked your once you've linked your Amazon Prime and your Twitch Prime account. Once you've linked that, it's easy enough Eight to do. Months, well, long time. Uh, Real Dotton, thank you for the twenty-four months. Opal Manta, thank you very much as well. I hope you're good. Thank you. Cheers for the support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I think it's a shame. I wanted to try and get in, like, straight away. I won't be the first person doing this loot route. Those zombies are in a different place. There's a lot of zombies. They are spawned in a slightly different place than they used to be as well. I was hoping to be, like, one of the first ones in the server. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not. I, I ended up not quite getting on as quick as I would have liked. Uh, we'll see. I'm hoping we might not... We will still get good loot this way, but if you're the first one to spawn where I just spawned, for example, after a server night, you can get epic fat loots, but... Oh, I will have that bag. Well, it's not a bad start. Ah! <laughs> 
and try and aggro them one at a time. I am going to have to go to Bolotta Town. I don't normally bother, but I'm going to need to get a drink and, and go to the well. Trying to get him killed quick, which is uh, causing me too much aggro. Plava Military. Where's Plava Military? I don't know the names, Vendetta. I, I, I don't know. I haven't played. Uh, I haven't played Essica for quite a while to any kind of extent. It's oh, fuck. Is it on every map or is it on the map you play? I, I guess it's on every map, right? Because some some of the servers have like server specific things. Yeah, I'm getting cut a bit. I'm not paying entire like attention to what I'm doing now, to be honest. Anyway, I don't think I found it, but I don't know the names. I don't know what Plava military base is, you know. It's, I know the map, but... Oh, the range of that really is shorter. It's noticeably shorter. But they've reduced the uh, the heavy punch range to try and make it not so exploitable in the uh, whole running and meleeing against players department, which is good. T Rex arms. Well, they, you used to have uh, you used to have dulce arms. I'd rather have T Rex arms than dulce arms, to be honest, or stretch Armstrong, whichever. Where did my T-shirt go? Oh, fuck, that could have been bad. I thought I'd go onto a ledge, I didn't... Anyway, never mind. Blimey, GTO, very cool. You've got a bison, have you? I wouldn't mind a bison today. We'll see how we go. Dulcine was unstoppable. I used to like Chunners myself. You could complete it with Chun-Li or E-Honda just by twatting buttons. You didn't need to do anything. You could pl complete it on the arcade just by button bashing with it, with uh, with Chunners or Honda. Chun Li, obviously. Yeah, we almost gave ourselves a survival experience, but I've dodged a bullet there. Tukan, I oh, do that. That Daisy server would be. Uh, they could call it PUBG or something, or maybe even uh, maybe even add some like, dancing and call it Fork Knife, and then it could be like one of the most popular games ever. Why am I checking when there's no, there's a mag when I can see there's no mag? Baraka sites, MP5. Oh, we've got a mag for that. He's got a big bag, hasn't he? There's another one. I, please don't. I need to not be back bleeding. I, oh god, there's two. He's not going to turn my way, is he? It could turn one of 360 degrees. There's no way he'll turn the 90 needed to go my way. Ah. 
Maybe there was only one. I thought there was two. Thank you for uploading the full stream VODs to YT. I love watching them during work. Smiley face. No worries, dude. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Cheers for the uh, support. Uh, Aiton, thanks for checking them out as well. I appreciate it. That was a really fun run on the mouse, by the way. That was really, really fun. Where's the where's the chicken? I thought it sounded this way. Oh fuck it, let's just carry on. We'll get other food. <clears throat> oh, it's this way. Good. Excellent news. Token, you seem to have some really novel and original ideas, dude. You should get them on paper and uh, send them off to this is definitely not already done before.com. You can't do that, uh, Jungle. No, there's no uh, stealth kills on players. It's for uh, Zombles only. Yeah, I've got peaches. We should probably eat those, shouldn't we? I was saving them, though, in case I met somebody that really liked peaches. Anyone see the new Jackass Forever movie? I have not. It's not something I would go to the cinema for in a million years. Now, you may have seen it another way than going to the cinema, of course, but I, I think I'd have to be a very rich, rich man to go and see Jackass at the cinema. A lot of loot, isn't there? This is what it's like on the Anyone first day. Anyone have any peaches? Uh, Wiener, I don't have any peaches. I've eaten them. All up. Yum, yum. In my tum. Wow. It's MP5 day. Oh good, I appear to have a cold. I actually like in that the zombies are all in different places. That The zombies are much more... Oh my fuck, they're much more of a threat. They used to be all situated really badly, didn't they? Now they're actually in the way. can't go wrong. Why am I sick? It's a cold. It's where I've been. It's where I've been cold, that's all. Fucking hand state bug still not fixed. I've gone from crouch to standing and the server has desynced me. Uh, so it wouldn't let me do the it wouldn't let me do the uh, the stealth kill. That sucks. It really sucks. And that's just hit me. I think I'm going to have to take these off. That just hit me when it shouldn't have done as well. I have no bandage. Oh, fuck. And I can use that, but it's not clean, so... And I'll have to use it, but if, if I use it, it will, uh... I don't need it yet, obviously, but... If and when I use this, it's going to give me the blood illness. Hi, Pete. Hope you're good. I'm pretty good. Yeah, I hope you're good, dude. I really, really hope that through the course of this year, they get to the bottom of the hand state bug. Or the desynchronization bug that we just said there, you know, like... It, it happens a lot when you try to go from crouch to standing and shoot. Uh, or it, it can happen when you're trying to do the melee stealth kill, which is what just happened there. You, you, you're crouched and you try to melee and it doesn't. the server doesn't agree that you've stood up. So your client says you're standing, but for anyone else I'd still be crouching, so it won't let me do the, the stealth attack. Crouching has a lot to do with it and desync between what your client and the server does, but... I just don't know. I don't know if it's ever going to get 
sorted ah. or not. I know the devs know all about it. There's loads of info in the uh, bug tracker about it, but knowing about it and finding the root cause of it, I guess, is very hard. And it could easily just be server performance, you know, ping and God knows what, but... Yeah, and you have to crouch. To, you have to crouch up to kill the zombies, but then you get this fucking hand state bug. I have to say, though, I only aggroed two, and that was because of the bug. I think we're doing remarkably well. I don't think I could do this every time. I thought that was somebody there for a minute. Sneaky, sneaky, ah. silly zombie. Thing is, uh, Ish, I, I don't think I even did stand. That's the thing. I don't, when I'm doing that, I am just pressing right mouse button and and melleeing. I'm not standing and then doing it. I, I'm letting the game do it for me. Uh, and it, it's just like not registering it. You know, it, it, yeah. That's what I did. I did it from crouched. I didn't stand up myself. I never do. I don't, I don't physically stand up myself and do it. Like I say, uh, I'm letting the game do it for me. Well, it still only happened once, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't stand up. I'd, I'd, uh, if you stand up, I guess there's the smallest chance you might aggro the zombie. I always just let the game do it as part of the animation. finally done its slightly smiling face. Four MP5 mags. Nineteen eleven mag looks really, really different. Uh, well, I think how to fix it would be to try and improve server synchronization somehow. I, I don't see how you can stealth while standing because standing walking is a lot louder. I guess you know maybe that would be a bodge fix, but I think a much better fix is to actually fix what's the root cause of the problem. You know, which is a desync between your client and the server when you stand up. Because it also relates to weapon raise bugs that have been in the game for a long time. Not just the not just the zombie stealth mechanics, it relates to other bugs that can get you killed, you know. So I think the best fix is not a, a bodge on stealth mechanics. I don't know how to fix it though. I ain't a fucking dev, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Blaze in the house. This house. I love New White Day. Don't you just love New White Day? <laughs> With blazes everywhere. <coughs> MP5s and four mags at Bolotta Airfield. Uh, Aussie, dude, thank you for the 29 months. I hope you're good, dude. Done Gamer, thank you for the two Ghost Jaws. Glad you were on today. You needed some sweet, sweet TRMZ vibes. Well, dude, I hope you all is well. I'm going to get the rest of that message in a sec. But uh, Can you please say hi to my other half, Katie Saurus? I, I, I got her into your streams and she's watching from the other room. Hello, Katie Saurus. Hope you're good. Uh, thanks for coming in, Ghost of Jaws, dude. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Aussie, thank you again. Twitter, Twitter buddy. <laughs> 50 Cal, Wiener, Aiton. Thanks for the support. Yeah, that's a good that's a good piece of advice, I would say, uh, Kabasi. Yeah, solid advice. Just don't get killed. Thank I very rarely do. Laugh, mate. You are and always will be an icon in our eyes. Much love, heart. Ah, Lacky, thank you very much. I appreciate it, dude. Now we're going to find ourselves a bottle of a bottle, a bottle of rounds and a scope. We don't have blaze rounds, but soon.
Unfortunately, that hunting jacket could have been our... our that's the hunting spawn. It, does a corky pass a one Uh it, it could have been something cool. I have found scopes here before. Where there's a Mosin dealie. I still haven't had a drink at the well, and I'm going to need to. Uh, slightly staved off by... Uh, By the peaches, I guess. It means we're slightly more hydrated than we would be. I could eat that pear as well, but I don't know. Uh, Dazeel, uh, there hasn't been a wipe with official, but most community servers were wiped today, so the server I'm on has been wiped. But most community servers tend to wipe with a new patch. They just do. One sec, guys. The game runs a lot better, you know. You've got a new patch. Uh... People play community servers for all sorts of reasons, but one of them is hopefully hopefully that they've got more players than official with a better running server to go with it, you know, like you, you get vanilla servers with maybe 70, 80, 90 players in it. Perhaps one of the reasons that they can run that way is because they wipe more regularly. <coughs> they don't have like loads of shit knocking around costing the server performance. <coughs> and there's normally an animal up there somewhere. They have been improved. Slight worry that there's a mushroom. But yeah, the mushrooms have been made uh, more OP. I think I'm going to try and risk mo li leaving Bolotta and we're going to carry on to the next town. I don't think we need to go there. Uh, there's a few places up this way where I might get myself a scope. And we might as well go and check for those, I suppose. Got some sticks. I might just cook these right quick. <coughs> I think I'll do it at the next house actually, because then I can get some sticks and some bark on the way. Spaghetti, very nice. I like it. I, I like it a lot. the sticks obviously uh, hi Seagun how you doing hope you're good thank you for coming in Lackey Fox thank you for the gifted subs that's really kind if you are Rax Raw Porn or JJJJR 123 you've got Lackey tea and crumpets here. love you bye uh, tea and crumpets hey if only I could eat them uh, McPherson thank you for the 19 months Oh, poor little Maggie, my ten-year-old. Uh, she had a wobbly tooth, and she gets quite uh, she gets quite emotional when she gets a wobbly tooth in the last day when it's coming out. Uh, it, like when she's eating, it hurts a little bit, and she's she gets right emotional with it. She's like, I don't want to eat. <laughs> and I, I I was like, well, you got to eat something, but how about just one crumpet for breakfast? Just one crumpet for breakfast. She's like. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> and then she was halfway through eating a crumpet and the tooth came out. So she's all right now, thankfully. She's very she's very wistful on the last day of a of a tooth toothening day. Ara. There's my bark. There we are. Mong, thank you very much. Mongtoff, thank you for the three months. Moon's Align, thank you for the Twitch Prime. That's very, very kind as well. Cheers for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I definitely would lie it that way. If I was going to cook a mushroom, I would pay, I'd place it perfectly like that myself as well. That is for sure. There seems no other logical way to do it, really. My six-year-old is just about to lose her first tooth, and it's really fun to watch. No pain. She just... Yeah, Sonny, well, the front ones aren't so bad. This one was a bit... It was like the one behind the canine. Uh, the front ones normally aren't so bad. They're just a bit wobbly and kind of fun. But when they get a bit more around the sides, and like when you eat, you, more, you eat from the sides of your mouth, it seems to have affected a bit more. The front ones never really did. 
But yeah, I hope it goes well. Right, so that has massively increased the calories of both of those. <coughs> Especially the uh, the mushroom. They've really made them better in the, new, the latest patch. Mushrooms OP. Where can I buy a, com a new good computer? PC specialist, Major Freak. Try to ask when I'm at peak viewership next time, okay? <laughs> Exclamation PC. Definitely have a look at PC specialist. Have a look at their website. That would be good. On the subject of sponsors, I, I jokingly sent a tweet to Audio Technica the other day, and they replied via DM, and uh, I, I may end up with a sponsor with them. I got my PC specialist sponsor from a joke tweet on Twitter, and <laughs> it appears that maybe I might possibly get something down the line, maybe, with them as well. I use an Audio Technica mic. Why don't I load up the second MP5, man? Because I've only got one bullet, that's why. I've only got one bullet. The others are ACP rounds, so there's not much point. Ariana, yeah, I think you probably should. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you need to cook it, Tobias. If you want to get the benefit of pretty much anything, you need to cook it. Every single thing, pretty much. Vegetable or, or mineral or aminal. If you cook it, it kind of quadruples or more the calories, yeah. Uh, Drake, thank you for the 15 months. Blaze, thank you for the 14 months. That's very, very kind. Daisy Underground has got pra craftable bows, have they? Very cool. Ridiculous. Well, it depends where you live. Like, they only sell to Europe. So, yeah, if you live in America or something, don't do it. They don't. I don't think they ship to America. So, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's European kind of based only. Estonia. There's no... Uh, there's, there's no import treaty with them. Then I guess that's there. I don't know. I don't know. But it will tell you on the website what's what. Keep on running. You're nosy. Well, you can't order in America, no, because there are you. Like, there's so much. There's there's duty to be like. If I order something like a PC from America, I'll have to pay import excise on it. Like when it comes over, it it just makes it not viable. The, the way, that, like that, uh, there's a degree of maybe protection in it, protectionism in it, but it's the same for everyone, you know. Like uh, they kind of want you to buy things from your own country if they ca if you can. So. Uh, like, if you want to buy a car, it's very rarely a good idea to try and import it from somewhere else because any money you might save on the car, you're going to burn as soon as you import it, you know. Alright, hopefully there's another hunting stand along here. Uh, Major, I probably won't sell my old PC, no. I, I think having a backup in case things go wrong is probably wise. Uh, I think I'm selling things like like not selling the hard drives and stuff would be wise, you know. I I wouldn't say no for definite, but I, I think I'd be inclined. Like like my old headphones, I haven't sold them, you know. I've just kept them. Like If my headphones break or something happens, it would be nice to have a backup set, you know. Like... Uh, I think I'd probably just keep the PC. Certainly the one that's running the game right now, I'd probably keep that. As like a, well, just in case the shit hits the fan kind of thing. <laughs> right, we're looking pretty good. So we've got some Mosin rounds and a PU scope. We just need the Mosin. <coughs> I wonder if we might perhaps go this way and quickly check that house on the hill. I want to go to the town there and see if we can... Uh, well, I need to go to the well. But before we do, I think we might be better off checking the hunting houses. We might get ourselves a... Might get ourselves a Mosin. Or maybe we might find rounds for the blaze. One or the other would be good, wouldn't it?
Anti, uh, Antiochus, hey, hey. thank you for the four months. Love the streams, keep on running. I'll do my best, dude. Dillis Power, thank you for the six months. Cheers for the support. Flip the nugget. I, I don't know if you're saying you're struggling to update the game on console or what, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not a dev, so I can't update it. <laughs> I don't think that's what you mean, though. Cool guy, how you doing? Hope you're good. Uh, no, thank you. But yeah, the new update should be on all platforms, yes. The timing might vary just a touch, you know, but the devs will have tweeted out. I'm sure they, they're doing all versions today. Yeah. <coughs> but they're, they're doing the updates. They normally stagger them. They'll do one, then the next, then the next, but they should all be happening today. Uh, Lorex, it's it's to stop people finding a gun they can easily shoot, that's why, you know. If you loot Paris Island and you make all the guns, like, if you just, uh, like, take the stuff off them, the gun takes longer to despawn than the handguard and the buttstock does, so when someone else comes along, they might find a load of guns that aren't very easy to shoot, <coughs> and no, no accessories for them. So that's why, you know, like, a, an accessory like a scope sitting on its own will despawn <coughs> in, let's say, uh, maybe an hour. But the gun might last four hours. Hence, that gun's there sitting there with no buttstock and handguard, you know. Uh, but given that by the time you're, you're like like an hour afterwards, you're like halfway into the map and miles away from Paris Island, it seems uh, somewhat harsh, you know. And those those I, those times, by the way, they vary. So that hour or four hours, that's not a given. Some servers have different despawn timers set by the the owners of the server. So, but a, a gun lasts longer than most things. You know, a gun or a backpack lasts a lot longer than a scope does in vanilla Daisy. How do you stop st sneezing, Jurgen? If you can find tetracycline, you'll cure the cold quite quickly. If you take vitamins, if you find those, that will cure it quite quickly. Or if you stay warm, energized, and hydrated, it will go away on its own fairly quickly as well. So there's a you, you can get rid of it, but it takes a while. There are some hunting spawns this way we can go and have a look at. Sorrow, uh, there's a video. Uh, it's unedited, but there's a video of me having a run on Raptor Island on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Rudolph, I mostly play first person only, but I uh, I do play uh, occasionally in third person servers, but I don't use the mode. Where's the feed check? There it is. Uh, it's a bigger vest. No, no, yeah, five slots bigger, but I think I'd rather have the slots for the grenades. One more month and we have a baby. Donkey Tonky, dude, thank you for the eight months. I appreciate it. I'm sure your name came up the other day. I don't know. Maybe it was another month already. Fucking hell. Uh, thank you very much. Monster, not much, but I love the streams and the YouTube vids. Keep, and the content you make is amazing. Thank you. Don't talk down bits, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you. Hey, Cena. Yeah, I'm all right, dude. Hope you're good. Uh... Cheers for the support, guys. Blaze, Drake, Anti, uh, Dillis, Monster, and Jonky Tonky. Yeah, I had a really good run on Raptor Island. I I've been kind of just holding off for now because, like, it it's you need, you need like forty bullets for a Mosin and a Mosin, and then you need to be shot in a house, shooting them when they poke their head through the doors. You know, like uh, I'm kind of waiting. I think it will get balanced a little bit, and it will become more fun to play. So, I had a really good time that day, and I'm going to wait for a patch or two and then try it again. Eclipse, well, thanks for checking out the vids as, as well. I appreciate it. Cheers for finding my channel. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. <coughs> Alright, we've got to go back to the town. 
There's a well at the town. Uh, there is a chance of a Mosin, I guess, as well. But the main reason to head back is, is the well. I can... Uh, I can fill up the canteen, have a proper drink, maybe get some food, see how we go. Might as well check these houses. I'm not entirely convinced either of these two are proper uh, spawn houses. That's good. That is very, very good. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to clean them yet. I'm going to wait till maybe I can get a stack of six. I don't know if the zoom, the zoom seems the same to me. I don't know. Jimmy, uh, they should name your joke eight years too late. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Maybe ten. Uh, Chainsaw, thank you very much for the support. You're Cheers for the support. Very, very kind. Sorry. Thank you for the 18 I'm months. Ooh, speedy. Uh, philanthropist. He's a philanthropist. Fragrant, thank you very much for the support, dude. Red said, I've only been on 20 minutes or so. I, I don't have a bison. I guess I've been on 40 minutes, but I've not... Well, I've been in the server about half an hour or so, I suppose. Alright. It wouldn't go on my head. It wouldn't go on my noggin, because... Uh, eh. Because it, uh, my hat can't go back on the zombie, but anyway. It should be good. Now, I'm, I'm kind of hoping we'll find a little bit of food down here. Uh, I'm not going to check every... I'm not going to check every house, I don't think, but just enough. Get, get a can or two of food. And then... The fucking hell. Just enough to get a can or two of food and then go to the well, I think. Maybe check the PD as well. We might find this bison. We might find a bison, might we? And then when people ask, I can go, there it is, you can see it. And then people will go, can you just uh, hold it in your hands for me? Can you shoot it for a minute? Can you uh, open up the, uh, the the thing and zoom in on it for a bit? Oh. Uh, Lucaso, thank you for the two months. Uh, two squeaky shoes, thank you for the eight months. It's almost like I'm here to showcase the game or something. <laughs> Done, gamer. I don't do that. No, I, I'm not looking for people to join me. Like, if I want to team up with someone, I'll uh, I'll team up with somebody I know. You know, like I'm looking to play the game randomly. Obviously, it's against my stream rules to uh, utilise the stream to come and find me, so please don't do that. But if I bump into people randomly, I'll randomly team up, but uh, I'm not looking to uh, play with anyone today. you know. Because if I said yes to you, that, that means it's open season for everyone, you know. It's just ne that would never work. Very cool to get the, uh, the mose in. Very, very happy about that. I've only got seven bullets, but we have got a scope. Don't need that. <laughs> Mosin in Kamenka. Paul said no to me in 1999. It still hurts. Yeah, but you were offering a whole different type of uh, team up. I don't want to climb the Molfin Hills. Are they even anywhere near you? I don't think they are, are they? I don't know. <laughs> Found these under the couch cushions. Hope you are doing well. Phosphorus, Love blimey! You, 
Dude, keep rooting around behind there. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. I think there's nothing behind my uh, my couch cushion except for old crumbs from when I used to eat bread. Lucasso, squeaky shoes, fragrant badger. Thank you for the resubs as well. Oh, we're not doing very well at finding bullets, are we? Sorry, finding uh, food. I like his jacket. I reckon Tropshire wears jackets like that, you know. I reckon he does. It looks like an author's jacket, if you ask me. Probably got one on right now. He sells rock. <laughs> the, the zombie, not fr Shropshire. Never. He's too hard to wear a jacket, that's what I heard. He's one of those that goes out in shorts and a t-shirt when it's like freezing. Like, it, you can see your own uh, your own breath frogging up when you breathe out and he's got shorts and t-shirt on. Probably with, with uh, socks and sliders. Uh, no, the plus symbol get, comes up now, even if you've, uh, if the zombie's got a hat on, it's going to come up with the plus symbol. I actually, uh, I, the devs wanted to change it, and that's their prerogative, right? But I thought the plus symbol was better when it sh just was like an indication that something's in the inventory. So like now, if the zombie's got a hat on, it's, the plus symbol's going to come up. But you can see it's got a hat on. You don't need the plus symbol, you can see it's wearing the hat, you know, like, but anyway. Maybe they're just trying to make you search inside rather than being told, you know? Maybe they don't want the meta. Uni, well, thank you. Uh, Jimmy, I'm a Liverpool supporter as well, believe it or not, yeah. I'm probably more of a follower than a... Than a with pockets full of Werther's Originals. I, don't, I quite like a Werther's original. I tried some of the sugar-free ones a few weeks back. The sugar-free Werther's, not so much. Tamoli, thank you. Eh, hey, Tamoli. Tamoli sounds like something that James Gandolfini would eat in the in uh, uh, the the mob scene. It, it's better than a sex scene, or whatever it's called. That one. Oh, what is called? It's okay. Hey, get me a tomoli. <laughs> Sorry about the accent. Okay. James Gandolfini was a legend, right? Holy shit! What a guy. Oh, that hat. Let's have that hat. Yeah. It's warmer. That's been dropped by a dude. There's no way it spawned loaded. Unless they've checked, they've not changed that on experimental. They, they've not made it so guns can spawn with random bullets in it. It's just that the doors are closed and it makes me wonder. The Sopranos is actually something I really want to go back and watch. I've, I've seen the first two or three seasons and then I never watched the rest. Uh, not because I thought it was bad, I just kind of ran out of time at the time and then forgot. I'd like to get back into it. The Mosin had a bullet in it, did it? So it did. So, so m guns can randomly spawn with bullets in it. I think that's cool. Like finding a tundra with two bullets in or something, you know? That could be really cool. It could, like, really <laughs> dig you out of a hole, you know? Well, 
got to wait for this. this out and run all this way just to just to slice her up. Hope you have a great stream. Cheers for the entertainment while I work cheeky smiley face P. S. You should defo finish the Sopranos smiley face. Ace, yeah, I, the, the big problem I've got right now is the only way to access it legally is to fucking subscribe to Now TV or Sky or some shit, you know. I, I can't get it on Netflix or Amazon or Disney in the UK. It's not on those. It's on, uh, it's on fucking Murdoch, Murdochville or whatever it's called. I don't know. Whatever channel it's on. Not on a channel I've got access to. Uh, Ace Flashheart, dude, thank you for the six months. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Right. So let's quickly fix that up. So if you're looking for bullets, you can actually you can actually be taking them out of guns, can't you? That's cool. That's a, that's something I forgot or maybe didn't see in the patch notes, and I've not I've, I've not read the patch notes today. But I played Experimental quite a lot. Maybe they added that after I'd given it a go, because I wasn't finding... I wasn't finding guns with bullets in, not that I remember anyway. Now I am, that's cool. So even guns that... Uh, that don't have mags can now spawn with random bullets. And I think that's a very nice little change. Very, It's only a small one, but I think it's a good one. Got to take these in case we find that bison. Pretty sure the bison's a military spawn. I don't think it will spawn here, but maybe where we head to next, perhaps. Was that a surprise? Silencer in the bed in the first floor jail. Now, first floor to you probably means downstairs. That's, this is the first floor that I'm on right now. Americans need not disagree, okay? Ground floor, first floor. This is the ground floor. Ground floor has a torch. <clears throat> Anyone that says otherwise... You're just wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the end of it, right? <laughs> the way counting works is you start at zero and then you go up. So, ground floor. Yeah. Then first floor is the one up. One up. It's one up from the ground. Zero, then one. <laughs> well, it, it's a cultural thing. I don't really give a shit. If you're in America, it's fine. If you want to call it ground floor, sorry, first floor and then... Whatever, it's fine, you know. I, I don't really give a shit, but for the rest of the world, pretty much. Not everywhere, but most places, it's not that way. Just so you know. I don't really care, but it did just cause some confusion there, you see. You're like, we, 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 need, uh, we need a one-size-fits-all solution for Twitch, right? I suggest my way. No, there's no zero on a, an elevator. You're right, Puerto, because they call it G for ground. You're making my own argument for me, right? You go into hotel, it's either G or L for lobby, and then number one is the next fucking floor up. You've just proved my own point. Thank you! <laughs> uh... G or L normally, and then number one is the next floor up. If you're in room 101, that's the the first room on the on the, the first floor up. <laughs> so you have ground floor, and then it starts on number two, does it? That's not how it is anywhere I've been, but I've only ever been to two hotels in America. <laughs> How do you talk about a two-story home? Well, you have the ground floor and then the first floor. Real simple. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. I, I'm just explaining where the confusion came from. He said first floor, I started looking on the first floor. 
<laughs> but his first floor was different to my first floor. You can see the issue, right? Who's right and who's wrong? Who gives a shit? Obviously, I'm right. For me. Asmodeus, Etty, thank you for the follows. Dad, DJ Temporal, Jay McLovin, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Sorry, it uh, took me 15 minutes to see that one. Thank you very much. It's all the excitement of this, uh, like, the first floor up from the ground floor is called one. How many floors does this two-story house? It has two floors. Ground floor, first floor. Zero and one. <laughs> Or upstairs and downstairs. It's, it's, it's very simple. That's not going to work, is it? Oh, you can do it in, the, in your hand now. That's true. Yeah, the, 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 basement, the basement isn't zero. It's called B for basement. Run, run, run. <laughs> I don't need the hooks. Eclipse. Well, very cool. Uh, you got a back seat one. Very good. Shame you didn't get a ground floor one. Uh, Gal Greta, thank you for the 27 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. That would make a house a one-story house. I don't see why it would tear up. If you live in a bungalow, which is what in the UK we call a, a house that doesn't have any stories, it's just got one. You don't say, I'm just on floor one, do you? It's got only one floor. You know, if you've got a house with only one story, you don't say, yeah, it's in, it's in floor, one, uh, floor one kitchen or whatever. You know, you wouldn't say that. There's only one floor. There's no need for any description about it, right? You're just on the, the floor. So then you have another story on top. You go up to the first floor. The floor that you run when you had a bungalow, and then you build another layer on top, and that's the first floor. It really doesn't matter. The reason it makes sense to you is because that's the way it is where you've been brought up. Here we have a ground floor. That's okay. Given that uh, the English language was invented here, we'll just claim ownership of it anyway and say you're wrong. <laughs> Lots of love from America. Don't hate us. <laughs> it's in, it's irrelevant. I'm only I'm not really being serious. I don't give a shit what everyone else calls it. It just caused confusion, right? You can see why. <laughs> uh, Ganja, thank you very very much for the support. Gal Negretta, thank you again. Ace Flash Art before that, thank you. That's what it's secretly about, Hoodie. It's about making it sound like you've got more floors than you really have, you know. Next you'll be trying to say your peen's bigger. Because it starts at zero inches, but when you get to inch one, that's two inches. Sono, thank you for the follow, dude. Very kind. If it's zero inches, it's still a peen. Well, uh, I, I can tell you it feels like one for me, but not for many other people. Uh, how many knives have I got? I don't think I need that one, do I? Two knives is enough. Two knives is enough. Uh, matches are not wet, but they will be I in a minute. I am sorry for the late Valentine's Day gift, but you get the real gift later. M M M M M M Kappa. Mowgli, thank you very, very much. Was that so? That was you the other day. That was uh, what was his name? Danziel, Denzil, or I forget his name. That was you, was it? Uh, I I struggle with the RP voices. So at first, until you had the opportunity to be funny, because you're kind of a funny dude, I nearly just fucked it off. But. <laughs> When you said a few things that were funny, I had to go with it. 
Mowgli, thank you very, very much for the support. And fair play, by the way. I, I wouldn't have never known. I never would have had a clue. Sledgehammer, I don't, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. That's not, it's not the same. Did I find uh, Johnson? Wasn't it Johnson? Uh, yeah, we eat the chips. Yeah, poker chips are for losers. <laughs> Torster, thank you for the prime. Foxy Love, thank you for the eight months. Very kind. Oh, was it Denzel Jackson, was it? Oh, yeah. Somebody else was looking for Johnson. Oh, okay. Oh, I've lost the cold. Anyway, I hadn't even noticed. That's good, isn't it? At least we've lost the cold. Probably lost that during the whole, uh, what floor am I on? I don't know. Holy shit. Let's hope, like, they, they said I had to check the fire escape route, but I can't even work out which one I need to get off on. I'll get off on the first floor. Oh, shit. No, that's not right. It's too far. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Barker, thank you for the 11 months. Oak Hill, thank you for the 21. Foxy Love, thank you for the 8. Torster, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Let's hope we can find something good up here. Like, in theory, I guess we don't really need much. We've got a Mosin. It'd be nice to find a battery. Uh, what What do we need? A suppressor would be very good. A suppressor for this MP5. And we can find anything here. Maybe an SKS as well. We've got SKS rounds. We could end up with one of those. Trying a little... Have a little bit of a guess as to whether uh, <clears throat> anyone's been here or not. The doors all being open makes me wonder. But then they're not open here, so probably not. Gonna leave them as we find them. Uh, <clears throat> our basement's common where you're from. Not, not that common, no. Most houses don't have a basement. It's, it's less common. Most in Not all. Some houses have basements, but most houses are built on, like, concrete foundations. There's no, like, uh, like, underground section. Some houses do, but most don't. Certainly more common you don't get them. Cool, this is exciting, isn't it? Very few houses in the UK don't have basements. That's not true. I've lived in at least five houses, and none of them had a basement. And all of my family live in all different houses. Probably about 30 different houses over the years I've been in, and none of them had a basement. So I don't know where you live with all your basements, but I, I've never been to them. <laughs> Carla, fair enough. I'm just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to like I was just starting to wonder like maybe I'd just been like 
like, oh, my entire family have intentionally avoided this basement craze that I wasn't aware of. <laughs> like, where, where, where's all these fucking basements? <laughs> right, come on, we're gonna find a mag. It's gonna be great. I once put in an offer on a house that had a basement, and I had all these grand designs to put a uh, pool table in, in there. It was going to be great. And then they said no. And that was that. That was years ago. I wouldn't be living there now anyway. I just have a pool table and nowhere to put it. Never trust a man with a basement. Mm. Three oh eight rounds. Oh, it was worth it. I knew it would be. I think I'm going to put it on the, this 1911 for now. Fucking hell! Have you seen all the loot? It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Wipe day. It's amazing what you find on wipe day. It's not really quite ready to use yet. I hasten to add, guys, someone did just ask in the chat. The game has not wiped, only a lot of community servers. You know, they, they don't tend to wipe. I think they're going to wipe for 117 in the, the regular game. But this, pat, this server has wiped. How many are going to aggro? That is the question. None. Let's just get rid of the FNX. I'm going to shoot this 1911 while we're here, then I'm dropping that as well. I'm not keeping this and the MP5. I'm just going to keep it for now. Now, I might take that. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to drop that as well. It is kind of annoying, but... I feel like we're uh, we're kind of at the point where we should be. Uh, let's put that in there. Hoping to find a plate carrier. You know, well, there's a military base not a million miles away. It's time to I think we can go and grab one. They don't seem to be aggroing towards my shots as much. Maybe they're just that little bit far enough away. When you're crouched, is it me or do I seem really short? Like, shorter than you'd expect? Like, I don't think I could... I don't know if it's just like now, but I feel really small. Like, I'm crouched and I'm walking below the height. It's weird, isn't it? I've never noticed that before. I'm below the height of the handle of the door. This dude's got some fucking powerful knees. Yeah, I don't really want it, where is he? The tortilla bag, it would have been called back in the day. I don't really like that bag. I'd take it if I'm desperate to carry three guns or something, but other than that, I don't take that bag, dude. Now, I might change my mind based on the fact that I want to take his stab vest, but...
actually have another mag for the 1911 there that we've not loaded. Jeebus, I dropped one of the spare MP5s mags. Yeah, I've, I've still got another one. But I had three. I don't even have bullets to fill that one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with one spare. It's not going to be my primary secondary, if that makes any sense. <laughs> the MP5 might get dropped for a 9mm pistol that's not ruined. Because it's only going to be for killing zombies, right? I've got an AK-74. As soon as I've got a, a weapon cleaning kit and a handful of bullets, the, the MP5's never getting used against players. So uh, I'm kind of looking to replace it with a 9mm pistola fairly soon if I can. And I'm just shooting this 1911 now to waste the bullets while I've got them. That's a zombie. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Double check for any... Uh, Fat loots. There's none. Uh, no, they don't, Lil Dump. No, only on community servers where most community servers, not all, but most community servers are likely to do a wipe today. Uh, but the, the official game's not wiping today, no. Having a little look. I've killed some zombies, but I've kind of not killed all of them. That's good because. Anyone else that were to arrive, it would potentially slow them up just enough, you know, like give them something to think about. Don't do funny jumps. But I like funny jumps. God, remember that time I convinced someone they could run? <laughs> that, was, that was a long time ago. Once upon a time, I was playing with a random... And it was getting near the end of the stream. I, it was a long time ago. And I convinced them that if you ran really fast along here. And jumped right at the last minute. You landed in the ocean and definitely survived. And just as he took off and went. I was only joking. Or something like that. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor dude. People didn't used to say I was ruining the game so much back then as well. I, are you surprised, really? <coughs> I'm surprised I, I used to get get away with that shit. He probably has trust issues. I don't know why. It, what it did was learn him an important lesson. Don't be so fucking gullible. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need the Pioneer. The Pioneer's just competing with the Mosin, isn't it? We don't need that. We should probably get rid of the mag. I would quite like the Glockenspiel. Not not a badly damaged one, though. Shotgun? Does it have shells? No. I think that's a very... I know it's only a small thing. But guns randomly spawning with bullets in, I think, is a very cool thing. I think it's not not a bad thing at all, that, mate. Like, like, a Mosin could potentially have a few bullets in it or whatever, you know? I think that's pretty cool. Oi, man, dead man, have my prime in it less than three. Uh, Dusk Nick, thank you very much. Less than three, dude. Cheers for the continued support, man. Cheers for the six months. Gold badge resub. Elite Hunting, thank you for the 38. Lando, thank you very much. Dynamite Dan, thank you for the new sub. Very, very cool, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh... Brant, Brantwood, Mr. Barker and Oak Hill beforehand. Thanks a lot for the support as well, guys. Very, very kind. Thank you. Yeah. You 
can still vault the doorway even if it's locked. Weapon cleaning kit would be good, please. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, now I'd like an M4 with a mag and an ACOG and all the trimmings. damaged. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I, I don't really want to waste my weapon cleaning kit on it and it doesn't have a mag either. And that's the other type mag. CR-75 mag. It's, it's going to take the bullets. Let's discuss my Wordle stat. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not, to be honest. To be honest, I was trying to think of something that remi re that, that rhymes with Wordle stats. And the first thing that springs to mind was kicking cats. <laughs> kicking cats is not okay. But I want to talk about Wordle a lot more than I want to talk about that. So, uh, yeah, okay. I, I, yeah. That's good. Just want to make sure you understand, I don't think it's okay, okay to kick a cat. Or a Wordle, just to qualify. Uh, no, I, I, I hate this. I want to be able to wear the tactical goggles. Let me wear the tactical goggles. Goggles, 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 man. Uh, AC uh, Axelap, thank you very much for the 14 months. Smackula, thank you very much. Wordle stats. Wordle bores. Oh my God, Wordle bores. They're almost as bad as Twitch streamers. Now, is it a combiney? Or it is. It's a combiney. I missed 74 ammo in the shower. I presume you don't mean in here. In the UK, this is what we'd call a shower. <laughs> no, it's not. Tactical... Tact tactical grubles. He might have something to do with uh, the Hermann Goering chairs. Yeah, handcuff keys. In the UK, we don't call that AK-74 rounds. We call it handcuff keys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I even saw them. We've got a full mag. That is good. Full mag. Oh, fuck. No, he's like part of the furniture already. Man, yeah, you probably typed that before I did it, but I've just read it after I've done it. I think that makes sense. I done did it. What do I think about those chocolate oranges that come from your homeland? They're okay. I tell you what, here's a super secret, right? If you want to know something super secret. Terry's chocolate orange, right? Use a grater... You might call it a cheese grater, but in this case it'll be a Terry's chocolate orange grater. Right? Use a cheese grater to grate that up right fine like. And then make yourself a pancake. And then, inside the pancake, sprinkle the melted Terry's chocolate orange. Well, it's not melted yet. It's, it's, uh, it's grated. Sprinkle the grated Terry's chocolate orange inside said pancake. And then wolf it down. 
uh, like you've never eaten anything quite so nice in your life. It'll be amazing. Terry's chocolate orange sprink like like grated into the, the inside of a pancake. Roll it up, eat it. It's really good. I'm on a fucking roll with these Zeds. Look at them go. They're just they're dropping like flies. See? See? You know? Come on. How is that one aggroed? It's aggroed to the impact of the bullet, not to me. Now it's an alert status. He's thinking, where the fuck is that fuck? Oh, there he is. Look. No. Where's he going? I saw him. He might have gone in in the in the building. He was down there. There you go, I set it to full auto after I killed him. I thought that would be better. <laughs> Those steps I think were a zombie. Well, that was kind of tense. Holy shit. I did tap X to try and change it. I, I presume... I don't know. It's lit. I was wondering if it wasn't letting me change it because I was sprinting at the time, but it did let me change it. I don't know what I was doing wrong there, but I pressed X to change it, to change the fire mode, and it hadn't changed the fire mode. I don't really understand quite how I did that, but I managed to press the button to change it, and then when I tried to shoot him, it hadn't changed it. I don't know what went on. Well, I'm glad I killed most of the zombies before the dude kind of turned up. Why does he have to drag everything to his gun twice? Wisdom, what what am I dragging to my gun twice? I heard the steps, yeah, I heard him coming from the left, so I went I went that way because I heard him crouching up to the side of me, yeah. 
think because it's gravel, maybe. You only had a repeater. Oh, look. Stop all the clocks. Tick all the tocks, motherfucker! I don't want that. Don't need that. Oh, that's nice. A little care package. <coughs> I think that's a lot. Don't need the 9mm. Well, I could take the ACP. We are shooting it. I could take that too. I don't think he has any... No, no, no mag for it. Right. Let's, uh, let's uh, get this way. Yeah, I've took the bat with nails over the axe, purely because it takes up less space in my inventory. I, I think it is slightly better at meleeing as well. Uh, well, it's, it's debatable, but it's certainly no worse against most zombies if you're hitting in the head anyway. But it's a shame it's got nails in it, though. I wonder, why can't you do nails and barbed wire for some kind of, like, Lucille's, like, better-looking sister? Neek Attack, thank you for the bits. Zombie, thank you as well. Shadow Phantom, thank you for the bits. Peanuts, AC, thanks a lot beforehand. So he only shot me with a repeater, and it looks like he hit me in the arm. He didn't... I don't think he hit me in the vest. Looks like my vest is still... Uh, no, it's worn, so he did hit me in the vest. So the, des the vest did its job. Uh, big styly, which is very good. Uh, Shrew, well, thanks for checking it out. I appreciate it, dude. Cheers for checking out the vids. I'd like to take the uh, cooking pot, but it's a little bit overkill, maybe. I don't know. That's enough soda, soda to give you diabetes. Well, only if I drink it all in one go. Oh, shit. He must have been full of stuff, mustn't he, you know? And I'm, I'm like, necking his sodas left and right. Real dot and yeah, somebody tried to shoot me. Uh, and I, I could, you could argue I got a little bit lucky and that he had a Mosin and no bullets, so he shot me with a repeater. If he'd had a decent gun, it could have been a different story, I guess, but he didn't, did he? So that's his tough shit. Uh, I don't think zombies have press vests, Stan, so I don't think that's the case. Uh, I, unless they've changed that in, in, in recent patches, but zombies don't spawn with press vests on. Uh, however, I do need to go and get myself a new stab vest. <laughs> Captain, that sounds a bit like a glitch, though, dude. I don't think that's an intentional thing, so I try to stay clear of stuff like that. So yeah, he uh, he hit me with a repeater, and it's done not much damage. He hit me in the upper body, and the repeater's like it's it's just been tanked by my. Uh Stab vest. God, it sounds like there's a lot of zombies now. Whoa there. Oh, the zombies I was killing, the, the ones with the vests on, they're all fucking despawned. That sucks, because I needed a new vest. Oh well. I'll make do with the warm one for now, we'll probably get a better one. Behind camo, maybe. I, I, I did fire at that one. Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't care that much. I fired at him, but I think I hit him in the head, didn't I? I thought the one behind the camo was a jail one. Like a prisoner zombie, not a police one, but it doesn't matter. There was another one in the 
by by the coast as well. But whatever, I, I think we'll stick with the warm one and uh, move along. We've got pouches. I'm going to be going for a stab vest soon enough. A zombie affection, exactly. Who the fuck are they? Who do, don't they know who I am? A little bit worried about the swimming. Why aren't I wearing the glasses? Because I've got a head strap for night vision goggles on my head and I can't wear both. It's actually kind of frustrating. The head strap goes in the uh, sunglasses slot and I really want to keep the head strap because if I find night vision goggles I'll be annoyed as fuck if I don't have the head strap. Misfit, hope you're good. There's a gawky bars on me, you, me, you. Uh, thank you. I'm Pink, thank you for the nine months. Pink man's Twitch baby, thank you. Neek, Zombie, Shadow, thanks for the bits. Peanut, Solap, uh, and Smacula, thanks for the for the resubs. Very kind. The only place to find MVGs on uh, official Chernerus or Livonia is helicopter crash sites. That's where they spawn. So if you want, if you want uh, epic fat loops such as MVGs, you've got to go to heli sites. Now, some uh, some servers might uh, change that, but if you're on like a vanilla server, that's where they are. Like, if you're on community servers, I'm sure they can put them wherever they want, you know, but regular vanilla or official, that's where they'll be. I actually quite like that change myself, Russell. Like, like making them rare... Uh, I've I've listened to people in the past explain why making something rare doesn't make them not OP, and that's possibly true. But by making them rare, it decreases the chances massively of you bumping into someone that's wearing them. So when it's night time, you can almost feel a little bit more assured of just using the head torch or using a handheld improvised torch or whatever, a flashlight, whatever you've got. Because the chances of other people having night vision are much lower now, you know, they're so much harder to find. Uh, people get them, but like Good if there's five heli sites on the map, or four, I think there's four, four or five, only one of them can have any NVGs at any one time, so the chances of there being like ten people at the airfield with night vision goggles when you go there are quite small. Might want to still think, think about like second thoughts about having like a, a trip to a real, like Tissy. If you go to Tissy, that's where the dudes that have been and looked at the heli sites might have been. Maybe they'll have NVGs, but. I know, you're somewhere like here and it's dark, you should feel a bit more comfortable about using the light sources and just playing the game. Uh, Chevy, uh, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, that's very, very kind. Darren I, thank you for the two months as well. Cheers for the support, guys. I, and I, I think it's interesting, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk about anybody else here, but... In the past, I've definitely heard conversations about how the night vision's OP. And, well, night's dark, and night vision allows you to see in the dark. You know, <laughs> it fucking should be OP. It really should be OP, shouldn't it, you know? But I think that's the point. Either you let everybody have it, or you make it rare. And I think making it rare makes a lot better sense to me. Learbag, thank you for the three months. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Chevy, Darren I, thank you again. Well, uh, duper, duper clans are duper clans, you know. The devs can't necessarily structure the loot economy based on cheats, of course. Uh, trying to make it so that's not easy to do would be good, and, and hopefully that carries on. You get a lot less duping and a lot less of that sort of stuff if you're on a community server, right? You know, like, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but... I haven't seen dupers, like obvious dupers in DayZ for years on PC. Now, I know it's been more of an issue on console, but hopefully community server owners are able to police it, catch it, and ban the people involved, you know? Grok, 
you don't understand why... Why it makes a difference, Grok, is that if you feel like someone's got night vision goggles, it's too dangerous to go anywhere, right? Because they can see you. If you believe that everybody else in the town is likely to have to use a light source in order to play the game, it's a lot safer for you to use your own light source. It's just kind of... It's a bit like an arms race, you know? If nobody had nuclear weapons, then nobody would need nuclear weapons, would they? And, and, and very bad example, but it kind of makes sense, right? If the risks of other people having uh, night vision goggles are very low, you can feel a bit more comfortable that they've got to use lights too. Right, let's get rid of that. Hope you're well, dude. This game is the ball. Is that clean water? I filled it up myself, yeah. It's time to start. Mexican Custard, thank you for the 13. BB Wolf, Running thank you very much for the support as well. Misfit, subscribe. thank you for two. Just keep up the good Super work. Dave. Uh, Mexican, well, thank you. Uh, I, I struggle with titles on a, on a daily basis. Today's was easy because the new patch came out, so that was nice and simple, right? Finding little bits of bullets here and there. I guess it's all, all welcome. Holy Ransom, I don't think you would be able to see down a scope, though, does it? That that would make it like... Like, that's not how they work, is it? You know, like, you can't look down a scope whilst wearing night vision goggles. I think that's why they don't allow it. And I think being able to shoot people at three or four hundred meters away in the dark would be OP all the same, you know, like... I think that works okay. Light vision goggles, you need to use a red dot or iron sights. I think that works. To me, anyway, I think that's great. The idea that you could look down a, like, a long-range scope and shoot somebody in, at miles away in the dark, I, I don't think that would work. Especially when there are, like, like someone's just said, you can loot night vision scopes in the game, so you just have to be more prepared. Not for every gun, but I think that's kind of cool. I think we ought to quickly go, and like on the subject of water, I think we ought to try and get to the well and fill up my container with water that I've filled myself. Because this water was from the dead dude, and I don't want dead dude's water. Sounds really dodgy, doesn't it? Guys, I know I've missed some alerts. I'll catch up. Uh, let me start with Ericsson. Thank you very much for your Twitch Prime. Cheers for using your Twitch Prime sub on my channel. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Uh, Michi, thank you very much for the support as well. Really, really kind, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers for gifting 10 subs. That's very, very generous, dude. Thank you. Most of the zombies seem to be to my right. I have got some... Uh, some chicken and a pear that I need to cook, but the dude had some food on him. I don't really need it. I'm thinking we might as well drink until my stomach's full right now. I did just drink a canteen of water, but uh, I'd like to get full white bottle. I don't see why not. So that's the stomach full. Little tiny bit more. That'll do. It's time uh, to start running. We might as well try and get full white bottle if we can and just have a little bit of a buffer. check this here. We might get something half decent in here, I guess. Oh. They're going to aggro now, aren't they? It's time to start running. One whole year of running. My wife says she's sick of hearing your voice in our house, lol. My wife says she's sick of hearing your voice in our house, lol. Why does she keep fucking ringing me there? <laughs> Tell her to stop ringing and sending those pictures. Uh, Hutchie, thank you for the 12 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Uh, Brantwood, thank you for the bits. Very, very kind as well. Me Mexican custard, cheers for the support beforehand, dude. Thanks a lot. Uh, Hutchie, sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Uh, I'm sorry if she finds me annoying. I can't help it. I just have this... Uh, natural way with most ladies. I, I just make them want to puke, you know, I can't help it. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Hutchie. Ericsson, thank you for the gifted subs. That's very, very, gifted sub. That's very kind, dude. Thank you. 
Alright, I don't have the sticky sticks anymore. So I've put the MP5 onto single fire. And my intention is to uh, use that for killing zombies for now until I can replace it with a 9mm pistol. What is, uh, what is easier to carry and takes less space. Right, I don't think I'm going to bother getting the plus symbol. It doesn't really matter, does it? But what I can do is dry all my clothes out and just cook the food that we have. And we're not on the mouse, so we ain't got to piss about either, which is good. We haven't got to piss about waiting for the fire to get to, like, 500. We can just, uh, we can just burn that mother down. 300 the fire has to get to, doesn't it? Now we can... Still damp. Fucking bollocks. Fuck shit. I mean, damn it. Acti, thank you very much for the Prime. That's very, very kind, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, cheers for the support. Thank you very much. Finister, the sickness is often a cold from being cold. It's not really that serious. A lot of the times when you're ill, it's just a cold, and it goes away by itself really quite easily. So you ain't got to worry too much. Oh, shit, I've got stuff to cook, haven't I? Like most of the illnesses you get are real quick things to sort out, so I wouldn't sweat most of it, kind of thing, you know. Still don't know if I like that site or not, but let's let's go with it anyway. Right, one more thing to cook, and then we're good to go. I think we're up. We got everything shown in my inventory. Sorted. Not going to bother waiting for the plus symbol, like I say. Like it's not it's not that cold at the moment. We can just leave. No helicopter crash site up there. You do get helis there sometimes, so that, that there's not not one of those. Might as well eat the pear and get to Fook. Uh, old man's gun. Thank you very much for the bits. Cheers for the support, dude. Do, 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 do. There isn't a single house in Daisy that wouldn't absolutely suck to live in IRL. Well, I guess it depends on your perspective, you know. Uh, I guess it depends where you're from. You are right, though, like, compared to probably houses in most westernised places, but I know, you, you ask a family in India if they'd like to live in one of that house there. I, I think they'd fucking do an awful lot to live there. <laughs> That's taking it rather seriously, I guess, but it's true. <laughs> I guess it's a matter of perspective. Is it bad that I order 215 in stuff from an Amazon? It depends what it is, Shadow Phantom. You know, if it's like, I don't know, like Panini stickers, then yeah, it's a waste of money. It depends what you've ordered. Oh, 
Right, we're gonna. There should be a feed shack coming up. We're gonna have a look at that. It's been a while. And then we're gonna get to the mill base. Old Stoneface, dude, thank you for the two years. That's very kind, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. We got a full mag in this, yeah. How many more bullets have we got? Enough to fill the other mag, so we should probably do that. Uh, Silver Thunder, thank you for the follow as well. Lorax, that sounds cool actually, dude. That does sound cool. There's a gorky bars of all me. If you were still there now, maybe you could have... Uh, what's the name of the adventurer, dude? Ben, ben Froggle. Yeah, Ben Froggle might come and see you if you were still doing it now. He has a show on... Uh, I don't know if it's Channel 4 or 5. Channel 5. It sounds like a Channel 5 show. It's called Bren Froggle Goes to See Someone in the Wilderness. I think it's called. He, and he does that every week. Bonesy, thank you for the nine months. Bone Man's Twitch baby. Thank you very much, dude. Have I seen the trailer for the new Lord of... It didn't really show very much. If it, I had to look on, uh, on Amazon. It didn't really show very much. Most of the trailer was spent showing melted gold being turned into not melted gold. I thought, like, I didn't really need a lesson in smelting, to be honest. I thought it was a bit dull, if I, I'm not going to lie. And I'm quite looking forward to the show. But I didn't think the trailer really... It, it was like they hadn't made it yet. I didn't see the actual trailer then. The one on Netflix does have a tiny bit in it, but mostly it just shows rings being made. Uh, I didn't get Gib from you, Juito. I can confirm I didn't. I got Gib from Tucker. Gib came from Tucker. Uh, my missus has been watching Tucker the, the Labrador as a retriever. As long as Tucker the Retriever has been on the telly. Slash Facebook. That was the teaser. So I've not seen the trailer. I've only seen the teaser. It didn't tease me. It just made me think, uh, I'm glad I don't work in a foundry. That's about all I thought, really. Looks quite dangerous. So not guilty on that one. Honest. One sec, guys. Just need to mute. Mrs. TRMZ is coming to tell, you me, tell me how much she loves me. I won't be a sec. I'm back. Sorry, guys. You could do better. Fucking hell. How much was it? 50. 50 bucks. <laughs> no, she was coming to tell me about what she'd just sold. That's all. She sold me. For an evening. As a gigolo. 50 bucks. <laughs> Uh, Bonesy, Old Stone, thank you very much for the support, guys. Uh, ish, not really. It's more of a, we need to have a bit of a clear out. Why don't we sell some and get them to pick it up rather than just take it down the dump? You'd be surprised how much stuff you can do that with, you know? Like, like stuff that you would probably think, actually, that's not got any more life anymore. I'm going to take that down the dump. You put it on Facebook Marketplace for a tenner, someone gives you £10 and takes it away. It's like having a removal man that pays you for the privilege. It's amazing. Exactly, Livo, yeah. You, Facebook Marketplace is great. It's like someone pays you to take your rubbish away.
And obviously, when it's rubbish, I know a fridge is a fridge. It's a working fridge. So that's not what she sold today, by the way. But that was just an example. So one man's trash is another man's treasure, or one person's trash is whatever. You know, you get the that it. That's the point. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It is. And unlike eBay, you don't actually have to post anything. They either come and buy it or they don't. Fuck them. My wife pays me to. To, to take me for the evening. Isn't that like having a babysitter? She has a she has a husband sitter. Oh dear. One thing I don't really get, and I, I've never actually, believe it or not, I'm extolling the virtues of it. I've never been on Facebook Marketplace. However, once in a blue moon I go to Facebook and it, it forever seems to be trying to ram Facebook Marketplace down my gulliver. It's always trying to get me to go there. Always. But when people sell things on there, they seem to do it with pictures. Like, there's there's girls selling dresses, but they sell the dress by taking a picture of themselves wearing the dress. I don't... I don't understand. Who sells a dress by trying to... I didn't keep the alarm clock. Like... I presume they really are selling the dress and nothing else. <laughs> but I don't understand why people do that. It, 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 it's weird. I think the prices mostly are a bit low for that Starhawk, thankfully. Yeah, it's called modelling, uh, but but you do see it other times, like people will be selling a picture frame and the missus will take it and the bloke's holding the picture frame and stuff. You really do see it, like, it's very strange. I, I wonder if it's like a bit of a joke for them, like, like let, let, let's make it funny. But sometimes it's definitely not. It's like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. It's time to start. Right, it's obviously not making me buy it though, because I'm not in the market for like a size 6 dress or whatever. You know, if I was going to buy a dress, I'd probably need, like, size, like, I don't know, like, 18 or something. I don't know. Certainly bigger than size 6, anyway. That's how I buy my underwear. That's how you buy your underwear, blimey. I think you probably pay more for that, though. I don't think you're getting any bargains there, are you? It half looked like the zombie over here. Oh, he hasn't. I thought he had a stab vest. Sorry, a plate carrier on. <laughs> yeah, something I discovered when someone in the chat told me about it the other day was that with the baseball, you don't do heavy attacks. I hit them in the head. Uh... This one's got a helmet on. Oh, fuck. You have to hit them, of course. Hit them in the head, and it takes as many hits with light attacks as it does with heavy attacks to kill them. You just have to hit them in the head. Hit them in the head, and soon they'll be dead. That's a drivable car. Ain't not worth it, is it? Hit them in the head. I think the baseball bat with barbed wire is the same as baseball bat with nails. It, not in terms of the way it looks, because one's got barbed wire and one's got nails. But I think <laughs> in terms of the damage that it does, I don't think there's any difference between them. Gala Steve. Well, I, that, that was just using the standard baseball bat at the time, by the way. I wasn't using the... Uh, I wasn't using the uh, the other one. But, to be fair, dude, that, that military zombie with no helmet only took two light attacks to kill it with this nail bat. So where I'm coming from there is, I think you might want to try, like, meleeing civilian zombies with the, nail, with the barbed wire bat in the head. It might be the same. Because it's it, it's two headshots to kill a mill zombie. Normally mill zombies take an extra hit than standard ones, so maybe I might have killed a civilian one with one hit in that scenario, right? Uh, 
hunting stand with nothing. That's not good. Wildcats, yeah, that, that's true, actually. The knives were killing them pretty quickly. They were heavy attacks, though. They were heavy attacks when I was getting the zomboys. Uh, not really, Joito. I got her some chocolates and a card. Uh, I, I was slightly less obnoxious than normal. You know, all the regular romantic things you would expect. Uh, we, we had the kids here, so we had a Chinese takeaway. Uh, obviously the kids having some too. Uh, but we didn't do anything amazing. We might do something like, when the kids go back, we might go out for the night or something. I've not seen Marry Me with Owen Wilson in it, but I did see, uh, I don't even remember if it's Owen Wilson. I watched Meet the Fockers last night, the original Meet the Fockers, the first one. Uh, we watched it with the kids. It's, I actually preferred it now than I did 20 years ago. Uh, I kind of preferred it. His girlfriend's a bit of a cow at times, and I never really noticed that at the time. I think I've become old and cynical. Like, but like, his, his girlfriend has some unrealistic expectations as to what's normal for the poor dude. Like, yeah, just go and wake up my brother and ask to borrow his underpants, you know, you've never met him before. Or was it Meet the Parents, I think it was called. The first one might be called Meet the Parents. I think it came out in 2002, so yeah, that would make it 20 years old, you old bastard, you. <laughs> I never saw it when I came out, I was too young. They wouldn't let me into the cinema now. Because she's rich as fuck and her dad's from the CIA. Spoiler! <laughs> I, I actually thought... Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was alright. It was, it was pretty good. Considering. I've got nipples, uh, Greg. Can you, I always remember that line as I've got nipples Fokker, but it's not. It's I've got nipples Greg. I was never a big fan. I've never been that big of a fan of Ben Stiller. I, he's alright. He's alright, but a lot of his films I, I've always kind of thought were kind of... Mm. Like, I, even, I hate to say it, even Tropic Thunder. Uh, and I know that's like got some kind of massive cult following. Even Zoolander. And they're, they're all kind of alright. I never really, like... Never really quite did it for me. They're not bad. I'm not trying to get all like uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. No way home from the cinema. This is going on so long. Do you know what I saw the other day? Not the film. Batman. The new Batman. The Batman. The latest instalment from Marvel. Uh, with uh, old matey Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson from Harry Enfield. He's in it. Mr. Pa Mr. Moose Patterson. Yeah, he's in it. Right. It's it's four minutes under three hours long. The new, the new Batman is nearly three hours long. How can it not be the best thing Marvel, Marvel have ever done? Walter Mitty was alright, but it was a little bit like a, it's like Forrest Gump, but only half as good though, wasn't it? How can it be... Uh, do you... No, I don't mean DC, Chubb. No, you're getting it wrong, dude. DC do the ones with Captain Underpants, and he's got the big shield, and then he gives it to uh, Flighty McFlight. That's the DC universe. Uh, spilled milk, thank you very much for the gifted sub bomb. You're very, very kind. Cheers for the support, I appreciate it. Very, very kind. And then uh, Flighty McFlight bounces the uh, the shield off of some trees. It's really good. And then he fixes a boat. And that's six episodes worth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but well, Ben Stiller. I completely get why people like him, Mandrix. I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just kind of. He's never quite hit the the top spot for me. Just for me personally, like, like something about Mary was a, was a pretty good film to say the least, you know. But I don't think he's made it into like. And just for me personally, he's never quite made it into the top. Like I'd rather watch Happy Gilmore 
than anything he's done. And I don't really like Adam Sandler that much anymore, you know. But it meant more to me at the time when it came out than than any of Ben Stiller's, for whatever reason. And, and Happy Gilmore's not a better film, but it just was to me at the time, you know. I really liked Happy Gilmore at the time. I probably wouldn't like it so much now. Adam Sandler became a sellout. Well, I think it's hard when you're doing comedy films to not uh, to not run out of ideas. I think people like Seth Rogen and uh, like like the group that came through with Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill and all of those. You know, they've had to go different ways. It's very hard to not run out of ideas and then end up just taking acting roles or taking the money. You know, it's it's not easy. I remember hearing Seth Rogen giving an interview once where he basically said something along the lines of I'm going to keep trying to get involved in films that feel original and then one day I'm going to sell out and remake Spies Like Us, you know. Basically that's like his kind of like thought, thought through trajectory because of the way it will probably be, you know. Uh, Ace Flash Heart, I don't think I have, no. Yeah, Adam Sandler has been in some okay stuff in his selling out phase. Not me that said it, others, but... Uh, Uncut Gems is a good film. He is actually an okay actor, isn't he? He's been pretty good in some things. Meatbag. Uh, I think there's no doubt the Christian Bale Batman films, or the Chris Nolan Batman films, are probably... Well, Dark Knight, I know it's probably cliched, but it's my favourite superhero film, and it's absolutely miles better than anything else that's come along since. Because it's a great film on its own. Uh, like, it just, it's a great film. Quattro, I, I think you'd only play official servers if you had to. I think there's no real strong case for playing official other than you have no choice, if I'm being honest. There's, there's a strong case for playing vanilla, like not playing modded. If you, I, I think not playing modded is a cool version of the game, right? So... If you're able to play mod, look like servers with no mods without playing official, then do that if you want, you know. But there's nothing wrong with official, but there is a there is a little bit more chance of getting caught by hackers or like griefers or cheats or whatever. I think that I, I don't know. I, they just have this cold and off feel to them. I find them boring. I don't know if you're talking about Ben Stiller films here or not, but I have that kind of feeling about them. A little bit like early Ricky Gervais stuff. I find like I don't like I don't find them that great. This is a drivable car. It's missing a radiator and nothing else. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not going to go on some massive uh, like expedition. But I might just check here where there's a little bit of industrial and see if we find a radiator. I think it probably spawned there. I don't think anyone would stop it there. I'm going to have to go for a piss in a second, guys. I'm about to burst. I know you needed that information in your life right now, but... Yeah. I don't think we're going to be finding any, uh... Stable release and pause time off go hand in hand, like Mad Monk, KVASS and Zagorki Bars. <laughs> they sure do. This will probably be the only stream this week. There may possibly be one other, but I, I doubt it. I probably won't be back until Sunday after today. I have got to try and get something edited for YouTube as well, so... I'm going to try and... I'm probably going to put the Magnum 1v4 from the end of yesterday... or not yesterday's, uh... 
Sunday stream. Yeah, Sunday stream. I'm going to try and put that on the YouTube as, as the video this week. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I, what made it all the sweeter was like I can't do a 1v4 with uh, with a magnum. I just can't do it. And then I immediately surprise myself and kill four people with a magnum. Only to then struggle some in the aftermath. Having a little look round. Sometimes there's a few different heli spawns here. Not today though. Garrett, no wipe on official. Uh, a lot of the community servers, like the one I'm playing on probably, will have wiped today. Sideshow, thank you for the 17 months. That's really kind. Thank you. Hi Joe, how are you doing? Hi Joe Elf, Joel, and now Joe. I'd like you to tell me another way in which I can get your name wrong, by the way. Hope all is well. Also, have you checked out Dying Light 2 yet? I, I've played nothing but it other than today. This is the first time I'm back on DayZ. I've not tried it yet. No, I will do. One day. When Dying Light 3 comes out. I, I really do want to play it, but I don't have any time to play it offline. Yeah, I know. That's why I got it right that time, Gravy. That was the point. My streamer didn't go live this month, sad face. So here I am, lol. Uh, Whistler. Well, my favourite streamer didn't go live this month, so I... So I, I well, thanks. Way to kick a guy when... Thanks for being here. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude, nonetheless. I'll pick up sloppy seconds. I'm more than happy with that. Thanks. I'm only here because I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for the resub, dude. Thank you. Uh, mm, there's a gawky pass of one boy. Yes, there we go. SKS rounds? I don't know if I really want an SKS, do I? <coughs> you heard there is a new animal. That's news to me, Joe. Oh god, that was a setup for a bison joke, was it? Fuck me. Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to try and get me a bison. I've heard that the new animal they've added into the game, the bison, likes to spray all over uh, other players, which is somewhat weird. It's a bit alarming, you know. It might be a health and safety risk. Uh, Mr. Cody, thank you very much for the Prime sub. That's really, really kind. Thank you. you say that now, Garrett. Right, guys, I'm going to have to go for that piss. I, I can't. I've, I've, I've waited as long as I can wait. I can't wait no more. Uh, I don't think that's too bad. Two hours, ten minutes in. Not too bad, is it? Uh, 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 right, let's come out of there a sec. Uh, Cody, thank you again for the Prime. Cheers for the support, dude. Let's do that. Right, I'll be back in a... I'm going to make a cup of tea as well. I'll be back in a sec.
Alright guys, I'm back. It's time to start running! Emotional damage. Uh, Count Scratula, thank you for the three months. Cheers for the continued support. Cheers for the silver badge resub. <clears throat> well, hopefully this is good. I finally finished the free tea bags that came in that hamper, so I'm back to Yorkshire Gold. Hopefully I'll notice the difference. It's time to start uh, Matt, well, thank you very much for the support. Twelve months of Code Browns. Love ya, Paul. <laughs> I don't think I've made it very well. <clears throat> Matt, thank you very much for the 12 month inning, dude. <coughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, that Magnum run was fucking epic the other day. That was really cool. It's time to start running. Just love well, let's you, get big cracking. Man. Uh, 6581, thank you very, very much, dude. All the platonics, dude, thank you. Part of me thinks maybe I should have gone to Zelenogorsk here and maybe I've made a mistake. Maybe Zelenogorsk might have made more sense. Let's, uh, put that in there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I oh no, let's load that one first actually. I I'm thinking perhaps we might be able to do a gas zone loot. One thing I was just thinking this downstairs while I definitely wasn't having a poo. Uh like on first day of a new patch, I often get caught into a there's no fucker in the northwest of the map at all. I'm here on my own type kind of situation. It does happen because like everybody that joins this evening will join as a new spawn. This server's wiped. It's not it's not like people were logging in geared. Everyone's started fresh. Uh, and I don't really want to be staying up north too much as a result, I guess. So maybe we should just go to Tissy, try and blitz, a l blitz some loot, and then head back towards maybe Riffy or Pavlovo or whatever and try and find an M4, perhaps. Artorius, yeah, I, I, thanks. Thanks for that thought, yeah. I was definitely not having a poo though, I was just having a wee and a cup of, to cup of tea. I didn't do any extras, obviously. Uh, 6581, Matt, Count Scratchula and Mr. Cody, thank you very much for the support. I'm not going straight to TC, no, we'll loot our way there, there's no point, but we, we can go kind of there a little bit quicker. Like, like I was just saying, maybe I should go to Zelenogorsk, I think maybe we'll just go straight to TC. Without going to Zeleno, we'll go... Maybe Mishkino, West Evac, Tissy. And just go like military base to military base to military base kind of thing. Be nice to get a bison as well, as, as probably uh, as not that great as they'd really likely to be. Be nice to get one. I think I need to be the other side of the, the, the river. So I think if we follow that train track, it kind of curves back around and goes to uh, Zelenogorsk. If I follow this way, it should take us quicker towards uh, the summer camp, just south of Mishkino Tents. I think. Push me, and then just touch me. And now I've got my Daisy Ten Mundaning. Thank you. Ten Mundaning? Come on, robot lady. She needs to sort that out, doesn't she? How hard is it to read Mundaning? I can't believe she thinks it's Mundaning. Come on, robot lady. Uh, Dino, dude, thank you for the 10 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Do you want to buy some pegs, Dave? <laughs> uh, you alright, Rectangle? Steroy Evac site. Steroy Evac. Yeah, West Evac. West Evac is what, what it's called. I, I don't... Steroy? What's Steroy Evac site? Steroy's near... near we're miles away from Steroy. 
Staroy is close to Electro, right? Yeah, we're miles away from there. The 310 to Yuma was okay. I've not seen it in a long time. I was really, I really had high hopes for it, and I, I thought it was okay. I don't think it was terrible. Oh, there's another drivable car there. I bet that one's that one's got a radiator as well. I guess we're finding all the cars because they've been reset. Hmm. Well then, let's use the bat. It has a radiator. If we ran back, we could get the car going. I'm not going to. Like that. They kind of need some food. I, I did cook that chicken and eat it, but I think that I've got one can more, actually. We might as well eat that. Not going to loot all the houses. I'll check these couple, though. Cars were not updated in 116, no Envision. They're meant to be doing some tests on the vehicles in the coming weeks, so hopefully we might see something during the course of February or early March at the latest around cars in DayZ. But uh, the reason I'm finding so many cars is that this server wiped for the new patch, so this is a community server where they, they wiped. Most community servers are going to wipe today. I would imagine servers like Day One, Zero, <laughs> Spaggy, I don't know about Karma Crew, maybe, maybe not. Probably they will. But it's more often than not, most community servers do tend to wipe on a new patch day. The game might not do, but most servers probably will do. The alarm clock's in, but it doesn't really do anything. It just beeps. It doesn't really do anything suit, like good for zombies or anything, you know, it's not that big of a deal yet. <coughs> and Karma Crew wiped as well, Jumbo did it. Okay, thanks. I don't really need to drink. I'm full bottle, but I'm just trying to keep it topped up. We might as well. If we just drink until I s my stomach's full. Staying full hydration is... F like, water's free, isn't it? It's not like food where you want to maybe might want to save a bit or whatever. Water's fucking everywhere. There's definitely such thing as a free drink. There we go. Jez, uh, only when I need to. Only when I need to. <gasps> to be honest, I, after the last uh, few days, uh, without going into details, I'd quite like to wipe my brain. Or at least delete my Twitter history. <laughs> well, not mine, just, just in general. <laughs> uh, Machine Saucer, thank you for the eight months. Uh, I hope you're good. Yesterday was so boring. Well, yesterday for me entailed... What did we do? Uh, I got the kids. I, I had a cup of tea with my my, ex, 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 my Morning, ex's dad. Well, stepdad. Because uh, I got the kids kids from there, from their, from their granddads. And then when I got home, little Maggie was a bit down in the dumps because her tooth was hurting. So we were like, well, should we watch a film? We'll just chill out. And she's like, yeah. And she wanted to watch Encanto. Guys, if you've got kids and they, they tell you Encanto's good, don't believe them. Like, I don't mind the odd uh, I don't mind the odd Pixar film. I don't mind the odd Disney film, but Encanto is El Crapo. It's so bad. I didn't like it. it, it it's just like it's like a musical with a storyline that's terrible. Uh, rectangle, yeah, I did like those photos. Don't don't take that the wrong way. 
I didn't like Encanto at all. I thought it was shit. It it was like uh, it was like uh, Frozen, but without the ice. <laughs> and the songs aren't as catchy, and it's nothing like Frozen, of course. I did quite like Soul, uh, just to prove a point that I'm not just a grumpy old bastard. I thought Soul was pretty good. I I quite liked it. I, I Encanto was just like, and, and obviously these films are a fantasy and stuff, and they kind of, but it, the, just the premise for it was a bit shit. I didn't like the premise for it. I didn't like it at all. That one, the Coco one as well. I quite liked that as well. I saw it at the cinema. Like, it, it, it was almost, it almost got my heartstrings a little bit. There was a kind, like a quarter of a, a tear in the corner of my eye watching that. There was. I thought that was okay, but Encanto, no, thank you. Did I like Finding Nemo? I didn't like Finding Nemo, and the reason is that it used to be on the Blu-ray player when I worked in a TV shop, and the sound of. Uh, the sound of Finding Nemo brings horror to my very soul uh, because I, it was on repeat like every day for like a year. I can't hear it anymore. Encanto made me get a... T oh, Jezza, you need to check yourself, dude. I quite like The Incredibles, yeah. My kids have watched Princess Bride, yeah. Aiden, yeah. Non-copyright Christmas music. <laughs> last time I, uh, last time I cried was Bambi. All those hunters, and not one could kill it. <laughs> Are parents still showing their kids Shrek? I don't know. I've not seen Shrek in years. I, I, I don't know if there's any drama behind that, by the way. I'm a little bit out on the loop, loop of, on Shrek drama, but Shrek isn't actually a very good film. It's time to start yeah, Mrs. Incredible is... Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd quite like to go to a... Uh, I'd quite like to go to a Halloween fancy dress thing where Mrs. Tara MZ goes as, uh, as M Mrs. Incredible. I think that would be quite good. I'd quite like to do some RP. Wow, you wouldn't think there'd be a Mose in there. You wouldn't, would you? In an industrial? I've angered the swamp, have I? Hmm. I don't think it's dropped, no. It might have had bullets in as well. I, I didn't check that, but I'm going to have to get in the habit of that. Now guns can spawn with bullets in, even if they don't have a mag. I don't really think Shrek has aged very well myself. It's okay if you like it. I like Mike Myers. I like Michael Myers, or Mike Myers, should I say. Not Michael Myers. He's different. I don't like him so much. I don't like what he stood for. <laughs> I quite like Mike Myers. Uh... Like Gold Member, as probably as shit it is, it is. I loved it when it came out. It fucking made me. I, I had, had me in stitches. I, I really like him, but I I think Shrek is. Mm. Uh, Ampal, thank you for the gifted sub. That's really kind. Thank you, Pano. Thank you for the thirteen. Mike D, thank you for the three months. Francis Kyle, thank you for the 10. Dave Texas, what do you know about Hannah's Law from the patch notes? I, I don't know what Hannah's Law is. I've not read Hannah's Law. I know about the Daisy Law from years ago. I don't know if the Daisy Law years ago was written by Hannah or if it's different law. I honestly don't know. Why is there no servers on Xbox? Well, they're doing an update today, dude. I think there is servers, though, but they're doing an update. Maybe they're still doing it. I don't know. We can have a cooking pot of uh, weapon cleaning. Now, I don't need any new clothes. 
I don't need shotgun shells. I've just got another box of mosing rounds. I don't really need any more mosing rounds. Do I need to check this? Now, normally I prefer... There's another box of mosing rounds there. Let's take that one box. Normally I prefer those pants. I like the spring pants. The spring hats are the best... Spring hats? Spring pants are the best pants. But I'm, we're, I'm rocking and matchy-matchy at the moment. I think we'll keep that. I'm, I'm done with this. We're going. We've got 40 mosing rounds. We've already got a mosing. I don't need anything else. Let's just go towards the milli base. We're, get, we're getting to military bases and finding a plate carrier. I don't want any stamina. I'm fed up. My stamina is over half. We need to fix that and fix it quick. Yeah, and if you check the Twitter, normally, like on PC, they, they, I think they did the PC update first. So they take all the servers down, and then they do the update, they update the game, and then they bring all the servers back up. So maybe Xbox are midway through doing that right now. But the Daisy Twitter feed is, is the place where you'll get all the infos. Do I like Gillies? Uh, not really. They work, but you have to play real slow. They work, but I don't really use them, no. Like, if you're going to run around and play like I do, a ghillie gets you seen more. It's actually worse than not a ghillie. It's better to not have a ghillie if you're just going to run around in the open or just run around. Ghillies only work if you sit in a bush overwatching a base and creepy creep around being really, really slow. And I don't think most people do. Most people get a ghillie and then play exactly the same way they normally do. I'd rather have the bag and put it all loads of loot in that bag. That's much more fun. Uh, Pado and Power Mike, thank you again for the resubs. Uh, well, yeah, it's not for grass-ish, that's very true. It's not for being prone on the floor, but it definitely works. If you're crouched, and we've had it in the past, there's a famous old clip of someone standing upright in a tree and I couldn't see anything about them. If you're, if you're wearing a ghillie and you're in a dark pine tree, you are hidden. But yeah, it's not much for being prone. They do work if you're prone inside an area, though. Like, if you're prone next to a tent in a military base, they can really work, you know, like... Like when Gillies first came out, I remember being prone and staying in front of a tent and then waiting for somebody to run past me and stuff. They, they can still work, but likewise, you need a shitload of patience. Well, the trouble is, Jeremy, if you play the way you normally do, and then when you see somebody, you, you play differently. By having the ghillie on while you're playing the way you normally do, most of the time you're easier to see, aren't you? That, like, if you're a ghillie, you're physically a bigger character. You're a bigger, like, bush monster running around. So, while you're playing while you normally do, you're actually increasing the chances of being seen. That's kind of the point. That's why I don't bother. Like, yes, you can change your your view if you spot someone first, but they might spot you first, and they're more likely to because you've got the ghillie on. Any new mouse today? I don't normally do anything but churn us on the first day of a new patch, so probably not. When there's a new patch, I tend to stick to Chernerus, uh for a few reasons. It's a really good way of, of testing out the new patch, because you know Chernerus the best. And, and and testing out the game. Like, Chernerus is an official server, and Amowski is a modded one. So, if you want to test out a new official patch, it's better to play an official server, I think. Like, because it's, it's a good way to work out, like, Zombie spawns and whether they're any different. Oh, it's all going so well. Captain fucking loud bastard had to get involved, didn't he?
Do I think suppressors work better now? No, not really. They don't seem any different to me. I w I'd like to say they are, but they're not. You know what, maybe we should go into the corner. That might be wise, mightn't it? Uh, Cinch, uh, Cinch Dozer, thank you for the three months. That's very kind, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the resub. The background noises are dear. It, uh, the, the loud one is a stag. Brrr, that one. Any 9 mil rounds? No, but more Mosin. He likes Mosin, though, he does. Alright. What do we want? 9 mil rounds? Uh, I don't need an SKS. I don't think there's an SKS that I don't need. See, look, bullets in it, though. How cool of a feature is that? How many bullets? Four bullets in it. That's, that is cool. I think that's good. Let's take them so no one else can have them. Oh, I saw a doodah. what I was kind of mostly after. I do need some more AK-74 bullets, but it doesn't seem like it's an AK-74 day, does it? Oh, there we go. There's some. I also have some in my inventrix, and I don't even have a full mag yet, so I should probably sort that out too. Ooh! Kaboom! Kapow! <clears throat> I'm not doing sound effects for everything I pick up. What map is this? Honestly, I, I, sorry for the sarcasm. I can't help it, so apologies, Dracus. I'm sorry, but if you can't make recognise Moschino tents, I don't know why you're asking what map it is. <laughs> sorry, I know that's incredibly sarcastic, but it's true. You know, <laughs> we're on Chernerus. Apologies for the sarcasm, but it's like it's kind of fairly well known, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, apologies, dude. I, I can't help myself sometimes. Like, if you play DayZ, you, you, you must recognise this bit if you just watch the stream for a minute, I guess I'm trying to get to. You might be brand new to the game. I'm, I'm probably try I'm trying hard to make you feel bad, but I don't... I'm, unintentionally, so, is what I'm trying to get at. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but it's just, like, I wonder where I've got to be for people to realise what map I'm on. But yeah, Dracus, thank you. You're all good. We ain't falling out. Don't worry. <laughs> we already have. <laughs> all right, let's 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 get on. No zombie. No zombies. No uh, no helis yet. That's a shame. I always do feel a bit self-conscious, more so than usual, on the first day of the wipe. I tend to think that people are all doing a loot route similar to me, but. And I, I started half an hour later. Some people were on this server before me. I, I started about half an hour after the, the patch came up. So I wasn't the first person in this server. But most of the places we're going, it feels like I'm the first one to come here. Oh, I was already loaded. So I'm, I'm more looking behind, thinking there's going to be a player, than looking in front. Which is quite rare for me. I, I don't normally bother. Normally I just plough forward and try and headlong into them. Baz, they're Baz, they've, they've not confirmed any new maps. I'd, I'd be surprised if there's a new map anytime soon. I'd love there to be one, uh, but I don't think so. Most disappointing thing about that is that there was no... Uh, there was no plate carrier holding Zomble.
Yeah, I think it is worth heavy hitting when you've got the nails on. That would have been two hits to kill it, I think, without the heavy hit. Beard King, there is no wipe on official. No. Uh, they, the devs have said there probably will be a wipe on 117. But they've not confirmed it yet. Alright, that's good. I think we've got enough bullets to load the other one too. I don't think we need to go to the castle. Quite often I'll go to the castle from here. Uh, I don't think we need to bother today because we've already got the Mosin and the PU scope. I'm kind of happy with that. There's not much point. I think we'll just uh, we'll crack on towards uh, West Evac Millie Base. Dr. Steady, exclamation patch should give you the answers. There's quite a lot. It, it's an awful lot of bug fixes and quality of life things, but uh, uh, have a read through, dude, rather than me. I, otherwise, I'll just literally repeat on on repeat all day. I'm playing on Chernerus. There's no wipe this patch. These are the, uh, do you know what I mean? It'll be really tedious. Have a little look at the, uh, the, the patch notes, dude. I'm at 250 hours. When will I get good? Only another 5,000, uh, sorry, 4,750 hours to go. And then you'll just about be there, I'd have thought. Uh, any impressions so far? Well, the, the only thing that I've noticed different... Because uh, I had two solid days worth of playing on Experimental when I last played. And I, either I didn't notice it or it wasn't in in the first iteration of Experimental. I'm really liking the fact that you can find rifles with bullets in and shotguns. So... We just found an SKS with four bullets in it. That wasn't dropped by a player. It was spawned there like it. We found Mosins with bullets in it today. Shotguns with bullets in them as well. Shells. Uh, I think that's a very cool... It's only a small change, but I think it's a very cool one. Like, if, like the, the times that you find a gun and you have no bullets and you're carrying like 17 different rounds and then you find a gun and it's not the, the only round you've not got. I think it's really cool to find a gun. Maybe you find a repeater with two, three bullets in it. It, it just gives you that little half a chance. I think that's really cool. The zoom function has been enhanced. It does seem a bit quicker. I think you might be right. I wasn't really noticing it earlier, but I do feel like it's it's a little quicker, but I, I don't know. seems to kind of like snap there maybe I don't know it's all good steady it's all good I it's just one of those things it's part of streaming I'm not I, people want to ask questions about the game and I think that's fine but just trying to like earlier somebody was asking about why the servers weren't up on console and uh, I was trying to kind of steer them to thinking about checking the devs Twitter without just saying fuck off and lead go just read the answer on the Twitter for fuck because that doesn't do anyone any good but Stump stuff like that, there'll always be an answer, like straight to hand, rather than waiting for an answer in a Twitch chat, you know. Xbox servers are still down. Somebody else was saying they're not still down. I just don't know what to tell you. Let me Google that for you, button. <laughs> It's one of the things that's kind of weird about social media. Uh, not weird, but it's frustrating, is that... Uh, and, and this sounds... I, I don't mean frustrating like it's ruining my life. It's not really a big deal, but it would be so cool if you could just tell everybody, you know? It's a really weird thing to say that, but, like... Like, I could spend all week saying I can't stream Friday. It's, uh... Let's say something not so negative. I, I can't stream Friday... I'm getting a new dog, right? I can't stream Friday, I'm getting a new dog. And I could say it all week, and I could tweet about it. I can't stream Friday, I'm getting a new dog. 
and then I could put a YouTube video out saying I can't stream Friday, I'm getting a new dog. And I've told every which way, every single thing, everything I can I've put it. And then on Friday, three people will ask me why I'm not streaming. You know, <laughs> My pinned tweet could be, I'm not streaming Friday, I'm getting a new dog. And people would still ask, and unfortunately it's just part of it, but there would be, it would be a great if there was a like a tell all button. <laughs> It would be great, but there isn't, unfortunately, you know. I'm not getting a new dog, no. I'm not really getting a new dog, but I just didn't want to say anything too negative. <coughs> and, and the downside to that is that when you're tweeting that you're not streaming because your dad's in hospital very ill, you're then reading YouTube comments saying, where are you? And then you release a video two weeks later and goes, oh, I thought you'd given up YouTube. Where were you? You know, like, my dad died. Fuck off. <laughs> People are just being kind of normal, but equally, you've given every single piece of comp like converse law, like info you can, and not everybody gets it. You know, it's really kind of like one of those. I'd j it'd be great. Just tell all. Maybe, maybe one day down the line, once we've got like internet that's like beamed straight into your head rather than having a, like a device, we can just like tell all. You know, it'll be like we'll all be like robots, being given the information by a higher overlord. Hopefully, me. I know, I hate Dave, I don't know where these rumours start, dude, I really don't. Uh, Seb, well, I, I would talk about things like that on stream as well, of course, you know, but... I think that's fine, though, dude, if you, if you just tune in when you want to tune in, that's great, you know, but... Some people tune in when they want to tune in, and then when you're not live, they want to send you a DM asking you why you're not streaming, you know, like... Send you an email, like, where, why have you uploaded for three weeks or something, you know, like, well, but... <laughs> if they wanted the info, they could have found it, kind of thing, you know. It's, it's just a, one of those weird quirks of being a being a Twitter twat or whatever. Bigly, thank you for the Twitch Prime. That's really kind. Uh, VS Icy, thank you for the six months. We actually do want to get a dog, by the way, but we're not getting a new dog on Friday. We're not quite ready for that yet, but maybe soon. Maybe one Friday, perhaps. can't go to that heli. I'm getting a new dog. Uh, Bigly and VSIC, thank you for the support. Johnny Zorro as well, thank you. Right, we might as well have a quick loot of uh, the Millie base and then we're going to go for that heli. Very nice, NJ. I like beagles. gonna take that. If I do find a clock or something, I might go with it rather than the uh, the MP4. Eve. finding so many ACP, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should uh, go with that. How have we not found a bison yet? We've been to quite a lot of milli areas. No, I'm going to not take those. Fuck it. Right, now I've completely ruined the line that I needed to run to go to the heli. Let's try and pick up the line and run for the heli. There's another... Oh, that's not a driving car. That one is. The Sarka. Right, let's see if we can find this heli. Uh, Justin, it does take a long time to learn the map, dude. Like, when I first started playing, I, 
I'd, I'd watched some of Frankie on PC's videos. I was like, oh, I want to go to Green Mountain and go and see where he did this, and oh, I want to go to the airfield, and oh, he spawned in Electro, and then he knew, and, I, and so I, I, uh, you start, and then you're just looking like a verge. There's a verge in a tree, and then you follow a road, and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> and for at first the game's very much like that. It does take quite a lot of hours before you really start gris grasping the map, you know. Like, the way you see it when people play it, when they like spawn in and know exactly where to go and kind of have this like knack. Uh, I believe uh, it's called the knack in uh, Hunt for the Wilder People. You do get the daisy knack. Uh, you just like kind of get a feel for how many houses to loot before you move on, what direction to go and whatnot, you know. like. Like a sixth sense or a, just a game sense, whatever. Takes quite a lot of hours to build that up. Human, thank you for the ten months. That's really kind. Thank you. Building up the knack, dude. That's what it's all about. Then you, one day you might become a knacker man. It's a curse and a blessing, yeah. It's kind of depressing, certainly on Chernerus. There's very few places where, just from the curvature of the hill that you... And here... Well, I Certainly now I've looked over there, you could, but... There aren't many places where I wouldn't be able to just look around in a 360 and know where I am on Chernerus, which is very kind of sad in a way. Uh, Ema, it's, it, it, on Experimental I was finding them at Kamensk Military Base. It, it's like a standard-ish kind of loot tier. It's nothing fancy, really. It, I, I was finding them at Troitsky or Commence, depending on what name you call it. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't found one yet today, to be honest. I, I'm still carrying the 380. I've got quite a few 380, just in case we find a bison. Just because it's new, I'll use it for killing zombies, I think. you know, I, I think the bison's kind of gash. I, I, I don't think it's very good. I, don't, I think the scorpion's got higher rate of fire. I think coming up there's an open space with a hunting stand next to a big rock. And I think the heli is somewhere near that. That's the big rock coming up. I don't know if I'm, it might be a bit further actually. Paul is secretly John Wick. <laughs> Do I think they'll stop at 2.0? 2.0? What's 2.0? There's the heli, there's the big rock, look at that. That's the knack. That, that knack I was talking about, that's what it is. Do I think they'll stop? I'd, I'd like to think there will be a 2.0. I don't know. I read a thing that they tweeted out, Bohemia tweeted out, an interview with uh, one of the dudes what's working on uh, uh, the new engine. Apparently they're going to be releasing a playable demo of the new engine first. Possibly this year, so I guess we'll see that. I'm not sure. I feel like this might be the last year where they do like five updates for DayZ. Yes, I think that might happen. I think they might still do some more down the line, maybe bring some stuff back from... Because they're still developing the engine, aren't they? They're still... Oh my word! NVGs. NVGs on Chernerus Vanilla. Just to confirm that I wasn't making it up about the big rock and the hunting stand, we'll go to the hunting stand, shall we? There it is. <coughs> I think I'm going to put the M65 on, to be honest, I might as well. 
NVG Steelers. Oh, God. I, I was salty about that for a while. That was really annoying. The NVG Steeler. Oof. He's not my kind of stream stalker, that one. Now, I don't want anyone to stream stalk or snipe, but I'd much rather somebody came and tried to kill me than just waited till I stashed night vision and then stole them. Yeah, I don't need the field backpack. I, I don't like it actually. I, the only thing that the only benefit to the field backpack actually would be for carrying. I'm surprised I picked that up actually. I am going to try and get an M4, I guess, in the long run. Maybe we'll keep it. I probably won't. But yeah, uh, it would have been maybe a little bit handy from the point of view of uh, carrying gas zone loot. But this bag has got a lot of space, and it's much lower profile. It's just this is the best big bag in the game, in my view, anyway. Right, I don't really need to loot this. What we're going to find? Mosin rounds, we've got shitloads. Hunting, sorry, uh, weapon cleaning kit, we've got one. I, I don't really think we need anything from here. 16 plus 9, 25. Oh, we can get it near. It's going to be one bullet shy, but we might as well load it. How many enemies on server? Hopefully none, Birdie. There might be no enemies, but like 70 friends. Mightn't there, you know? We just don't know that yet. And we already met one enemy and he tried to shoot me dead. But he could have been a friend, couldn't he? There might be no enemies, just friends. That 70 was a hypothesis, by the way, not an accuracy. Not, not an accurate figure. Yeah, a daisy random is just a friend you've not yet made. <laughs> or someone that you've not convinced is your friend and then coax them down a ladder to a, to a landmine. Either option. <laughs> Either option is fine. Oh, you snidey fucker. You're not my friend. Silent zombies, of, silent wolves of doom. Can you stop running around? Oh, I thought you were going to stop. It's a good job I waited till it was not moving so I could get a clean shot on it, wasn't it? What was he doing then? He was break dancing, did you see that? Jumping, IG I Alvin, I Galvin. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for coming in. Uh, Galvin, Russ, Spelt, R D Robinson, Beams, Dark, uh, Bigly. Thank you for the follow as well. Bigly followed and then Twitch Prime like straight after. Dude, thank you very much. You ain't fucking around today. Thank you. Right, I, I think we've got some food. Well, I've just eaten some canned food, but we might as well take a wolf. Shelter won't let you adopt a dog after that display. I don't know. I think I, I dealt with them humanely. I think just one's enough. I ain't gonna bother with two. Uh, Terry, I don't think they'll be introducing horses anytime soon. The uh, I don't see them introducing horses while cars don't work somehow. Uh, Leaf, dude, thank you for the support. That's really, really kind. Tip Mag, thank you for the four months as well. S-Blitz, 
Spliz, thank you very much for the resub as well. Thank you. Oh, hunky. Yeah, I don't take the fat. Someone, someone queries it every time. They nerfed fat ages ago, so take the meat, leave the fat unless you've got loads of space. All of the meat, any single piece of meat gives you more calories than the fat does, so there's not much reason to carry it unless you've got loads of space and I really like the taste of fat. Hyper Pro, yeah, I think he made a video of that from his point of view, yeah. Gravy, I think I killed four people, uh, four people with the Red Nine. I think I maybe killed somebody else later with it, but four people with the Red Nine in the early part of the Runaway Man video, all while <laughs> Garrett, like, hid away. Like, crying like a baby. <laughs> Keeping my gun on my back for now. I'm not going to bother looting this. Like I say, same as the last place, really. I'm going to loot the medical, but the rest is probably not worth it. I'm not looking for any more hunting rounds. I've got plenty of Mosin. I don't think we need anything from there. To keep a gun in my hands, actually, now. We are actually somewhere where there could be players. I've gone into this building before, and there's been someone inside, so... That's not the gun I was looking for. Do I need Tetris? I probably don't need it, but let's have it anyway. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the... Oh, fuck off. Not going to bother with the saline. I will take that. I know I didn't take the saline. I'm not taking that either. I'm, I've been carrying around that PSO 1 scope pretty much since I spawned, but the AK is for close range. I, I'm not going to use it for longer range. It's kind of utterly pointless. I've got the, the Mosin. I'm just taking the start kit so I can make a blood bag. I don't, I don't, I don't want to make anything else. No, I was just going to say no gear, but there is there is one bit of gas gear. All right, I'm not checking the rest. We'll perhaps go to Sinistock, cook the uh, cook the meats. I don't really want to deal with Zeds, to be honest. Let's go into the field. That'll be a much safer thing to do. Uh, yeah, we'll go to Sinistock, cook the meats, and then go to Tissy and loot. Loot the shit out of it. Night vision goggles, though, eh? Night vision goggles on uh, on vanilla Chernerus. That is, uh, we are, we we're probably the only people with night vision goggles on this server right now. Probably because the, the, not many people will have looted a hunting, sorry, a heli site yet, and they don't spawn. I think there's no like one. So the fact that we've got them means that when it goes dark, we are like, uh, like invincible. <coughs> I have donuts and I'm not sharing. Mm. That's okay. If you let me have a donut, I'd only shit myself something fierce. <laughs> so you can keep your bloody donut. <laughs> uh... 
Let's put the battery in there. I'm starting to get hungry. It's only five o'clock, but it feels like it's dinner time. I guess it's close. Dinner time is upon us, right? I think I've got spicy chimpkin. Oh, there's a police car there. We might get ourselves a new uh, a, a new uh, suppressor. That'd be kind of okay. Your mum is celiac and, and uh, donuts are 100% what she misses the most, are they? Or, or, that that sucks, Mesa. And I, I feel pretty lucky that I'm not that, but yeah. Something I have definitely worked out though, I, and I know a lot of people were telling me this, but it's nothing related to uh, I'm still struggling with the uh, the gluten. I can't have it. But definitely too much coffee was giving me some issues as well. I've cut out coffee since Saturday, and the difference is huge. And I was probably having way too much, like way too many strong coffees through the course of a day. But yeah, now I'm now I'm I, I'm literally I'm I'm going to be soon. I'm literally going to be having like water and gruel, and anything else makes me shit myself. You know that's the way it feels like it's going. Sorry for the vulgarity, but it's true. Where's the other mag then? I saw it somewhere. It must be in there. It's on the other side. Part of getting old, is it? Great. So. I can I can aff afford like caviar on chips now, but I can't eat any of it. I can't afford caviar on chips. I only had caviar once, and I was twenty, and I didn't like it. No coffee, no dog. Where will this end? It'll end with tweets where I say, "I can't stream Friday. I'm having a cup of coffee." <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know what it is in the coffee. I just presumed it was the uh, the caffeine, but it may well not be. But it's instant coffee, and I, I have, like, a big mug. Like, it's probably about the best part of two mugs worth of a standard size mug. Uh, and a spoonful and a half of instant coffee in it. And I, then, I, like, during a stream, I'd normally have, like, three... And often in the morning before I start stream, well, I have like two. So, yeah, I, I certainly think I'm, I think I'm going to still have some, but I'm going to start like getting it down to like one or two a day max and see how it goes. It sucks though because there aren't many things that I actually get to have. <laughs> like, like I've had to go lactose free. I've had to go gluten free. Like, what next? Could be worse. Why instant though? Uh, silver. It, it it's not something we all have, but. Instant coffee is still extraordinarily common in the UK. It harks back to the time of... Oh, well, British people basically through history have had no taste buds. It harks back to that, you know, like... Like, the, there's a reason why our national cuisine used to be fish and chips and now it's probably curry. In that we're not very very good at shit, you know. We tend to just like, well, that'll do. It's wet. It's hot. I'll have that. It was all going so well until I shot at that one. Have I ever tried Caro? I've never even heard of Caro. I think malted barley and roasted barley gravy would be a no-no for me, wouldn't it? Barley has got gluten in it, so that would be worse for me than coffee, I would guess. 
Uh, Sinister, thank you very much for the bits. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Very, very cool. Cheers, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the bits. Dr. Google, uh, Dr. Google, thank you very much for the, uh, uh, Twitch Prime Googling this. <laughs> cheers for the support, dude. Where's my matches? That's not correct, is it? I need to do that. Manny, thank you for checking out the vids. I appreciate it. Cheers for checking out the vids, dude. Barley has gluten. Yeah, scotch doesn't have gluten because it's distilled. Anything made with grain that's distilled, you can drink because it's got no gluten in it by then. Uh, so it's fine. Yeah, it's... It's no good if you're having, like, something really malty that's not distilled, though. It's time to start running! So you can't have beer, but you can have stuff made with grain that's distilled. I do hate it when Gravy Star tries to stitch it's me up with the shits, yeah. They must think I'm dumb or something. <laughs> Hurry four months here to many more keep on running. Riley, dude, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Bolivian, that was just me going... <laughs> Frankie on PC has said he stopped making Daisy videos. Has he? To be honest, uh, from the point of view of a DayZ player, he hasn't made a DayZ video since like 2014, and I'm not saying that to be like horrible. He doesn't play like regular DayZ, like like, and that's fine. If he doesn't like it and he wants to go in a different direction, he should, you know. That's fine, you know. So I'm not trying to dig him out. I love his videos. I'm only playing the game because of him. But like, the the videos he's made since he came back, they're not DayZ in the sense of what we play, you know. And, and that's okay. That's fine. But it's like all on like private servers with. Like mods that aren't available to the public and such like. It's just ne it's not really Daisy, you know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I I, I hope, he, hope he keeps going and does great. You know, I think it's not bad for the game. I hope he keeps making games on. Uh, sorry, videos on Daisy too. Whatever, whether it's modded or whether it's not, or whether it's private servers, or whether it's not. I think it's good for the game if he does. That's not exactly what he said. He made it clear he's going to branch out to embrace new viewers. Oh, well, there we are. b Shep, I don't have a problem with scripted videos. I don't have a problem with scripted videos where it's uh, obvious that it's scripted, as in it's in the description and it's not... I, I don't like, personally, videos that get passed off as scripted that are not. Uh, and maybe that's happened in the past, and I'm not looking to name any names, but if they're being like if you're selling oranges and you're calling them oranges then, then that's fine if you're selling oranges but they're actually apples then I, no, I don't like that you, I am losing health right now being red health yeah but I just need to uh I just need to cook one more piece and then we can get away and that'll be fine. So I'm losing a little bit of health. It's not going to kill me. I'm just losing health. We can eat maybe one more piece. Oh no, we're okay just with that one in my hand. Villa Expression, thank you for the follows. That's really kind. Thank you. Actually, somebody on Twitter the other day uh, was nice enough to say, uh, have a look at this thread on Reddit. You're... Uh, 
people are saying nice things about you or something, which was fine. I, I did have a quick look, to be fair, but only a quick look. I don't go to Reddit very much. I actually made a Reddit post the other day. I, I actually wrote something on Reddit. Like that That's quite rare for me these days. But anyway, I... Uh, I didn't make a post, I replied to somebody else's actually, to be fair, I didn't make it, but uh, yeah, I, there was people on there that were suggesting, <laughs> well one maybe, maybe two, that were suggesting that I scripted my content, I was like, what the fuck, if I scripted it, I'd definitely be better than this. <laughs> like, I've, I've watched some of his stuff, it looks like it's scripted, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Fozza, thank you for the Twitch Prime. That's really, really kind. Thank you. A Viking diver. Have you ever tried diving? Uh, only whilst wearing pyjamas to get a rubber... Well, I like a rubberish brick from the bottom of the pool. That's to get my uh, silver swimming certificate. I'd quite like to do, like, snorkelling. And, like, I'm, I'm a pretty decent swimmer. Like, like going underwater. I like... like I can swim underwater quite a long way and shit, and hold my breath, like, or I used to be able to, I guess, but... Uh, actually going, like, deep down, like, say, 30 metres down, I don't know if I'd like it. I'm a bit funny with confined spaces, and whilst it's not a confined space, it's kind of, con like, a bit claustrophobic in a way. I, I don't know if I'd like it. I think I could probably do it, I suppose, but I don't know. I think I'm a bit of a weed, to be honest. I do. And anything that feels like I'm putting myself in danger, I'd just rather listen to the bit of me that says, don't do that, you'll die. Uh, Viking, thank you again, though. Fozzo, thanks very, very much. Sinister. Do you have any tips for video editing software? Only thing I can find is ones you need to pay for. Well, uh, you can get, quite often you can get a version of Vegas from Humble Bundle for about 30 bucks. Uh, the best one that people use, apparently, I've never used it, is DaVinci Resolve. The best free software is DaVinci Resolve. Uh, DaVinci like Leonardo Da Vinci. Da Vinci. D-A-V-I-N-C-I. Uh, so, sorry, it's took me a minute to get there, Sinister. But yeah, that's the best free one, most people would suggest. Uh, I, I would, I would personally, the thing is though, right, it, I'm not saying Da Vinci's bad, I'm sure it's great. But if you're going to get into video editing and you're going to learn it all, at some point you're probably going to buy Vegas or Adobe, probably. If you, can get a, if you can get Vegas for $30, I'd suggest you do it. Because there's there's something really frustrating about learning how to use editing software and then having to relearn how to use the editing software you should have learnt in the first place. There was a young man from Kent whose rod was so long it bent, so to save himself trouble he bent it in double, and instead of coming, he went. Lippy, well, thank you very much for that. Uh, cheers for the little uh, limerick. Uh, cheers for the support, thank you. So when I first started editing, I used Vegas. Sorry, not Vegas. I used uh, Movie Maker. I used Windows Movie Maker. And the very first one that I made with Vegas was uh, the first one with Vector Bunny in it. Uh, the first one where I met uh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman in DayZ. Uh, if you can get it for 30 bucks, I'd try and get one of the Vegases, if I were you. And then it may not be for sale right now, but it often comes up. Pretty much everybody, not everybody, but 9 out of 10 people on YouTube that are doing it for a long time are using either Adobe or Vegas, you know, like one or the other. Adobe is probably recognised as the best and it does have a lot of tie-ins with other software too, potentially, but Vegas, Vegas is quite common and it's quite accessible and it's quite cheap too. Yeah, I, well, but some people use a cracked version. I, I remember seeing a YouTuber with 10 million subscribers and they showed their Vegas and it was a cracked version of Vegas. They had, a, they had 10 million YouTube subs and they were still using the cracked version of Vegas. That, that I find staggering. Keep up the awesome content, keep on running. To be fair though, there, there may have been a time when I used a cracked version of Vegas. There may have been. I can neither confirm nor deny. 
I can confirm that, that Spaggy bought my first version of Vegas as well. <laughs> uh, full, full transparency. Uh, that, that was a long time ago, though. We're going back like six years or so. Five years, maybe six. Uh, Mutant Gold, thank you for the 15 months. Jiminy Crickets, thank you very much as well. Mrs. Twizzle, cheers for the Twitch Prime, thank you. That was different then, though. It, uh, it was when Vegas was still owned by Sony, I think. And uh, it was never 30 bucks then. It was 200 or nothing. And cracked versions of software sounds great, by the way. But to be honest, if you're going to use cracked Vegas, I'd try and get used to DaVinci Resolve and use that. Because cracked versions don't have any updates. And that sooner or later, they stop working. Uh, sooner or later, you end up like deleting, reinstalling, deleting, just just to try and make it vaguely work. And it's not worth it. It's, it's much. I'd, you might as well use the free software and get used to that than try and use some cracked one. Can we actually do it right and go up the side of the hill and overwatch a little bit first? This is a vanilla server, yeah. I think I've been particularly good at shooting on the edge. Uh, they just aggro too easily, don't they? It's no nothing new. We already know this, but it's just annoying. Listen to how many zombies there are outside now. I'm on the edge of uh, the Zeds. And I was pretty careful. If only you had goggles, what would the goggles do? I can't wear the goggles, but you pr probably already know that, right? But if I put the goggles on, I can't wear the night vision, and I've, got, <laughs> I've not got any room. I might as well drop the goggles, actually. I'm never going to put them on now. The... Uh the goggles do re work really well, but that didn't make any difference there. I still headshotted the zombie. I didn't miss it because of the sun god rays, did I? You know, it It was fine. They weren't actually aggroed on me, though. They were aggroed on the sound of the bullet landing on that Zed, so... We have managed to come away from there. They all appear to have gone that way. Now, one of the zombies had a uh, stab, not a stab vest, a plate carrier on. Oh, fuck. fuck. Be aggroed on me now. Oh, God.
<sighs> well, I hope there's nobody here because we're definitely fucking giving the game away some, aren't we? There's another zombie coming. Another two. I hope that they, they change the way the suppressors work a little bit. And one upside is that I am clearing the base of all the desserts. But they are just a little bit too over eager with the sound of bullet impacts, aren't they? There's just no... I'm almost bored. I'm sure you're all bored of listening to it, but I'm bored of talking about it. But it's just... It is a big deal for the game, isn't it? It is a big deal. tried to jump that. Alas, I didn't have the, the stamina for to, to get it up there. Well, I had a suppressed shot then. I wasn't really paying attention. Why not? The bag is too big. Major, I, I, I don't understand what you mean, stamina. Why is, what's the bag too big? The bag is lovely. Oh, the, the bigger bag than I've got? Yeah, I don't need anything bigger than this. Banksy, this is Tissy Military Base. Aris, thanks for converting your sub, dude. Big P Dogs, thank you for the 10 months. Mutant Gold and Jiminy Crickets, thank you for the resubs. Right, I do want that. Now we might as well try and get through the, the base quick as we can, because most of the zombies are gone. Uh, let's take those. We did last time. We might end up with an AS Val or a VSS. That could be kind of fun. It's, it's not as good as the AK we have, really, but it's kind of fun, though, so we might as well have it. I'm thinking about uh, an M4 from, from Riffy or Pavlovo as, like, a mid-term aim. Don't need that. Just load as many as I can into both mags for now, I think. Pony around VSS mag, that's definitely a keeper. Well, BJ, uh, sorry, BJ, BL, Jeffries. Yeah, one of the reasons why there's probably not going to be a fully geared clan here is that the server was crap, not crashed. Sorry, the server on a community server, and it was wiped. 
Uh, yet it was wiped today. And when I joined it, it was like, oh, fuck's sake. It was only half an hour after it went live, so not many people have got here and got geared. You know, most people joining right now will be a no spawn on the coast. Oh, for fuck's sake. So uh, less chance of geared squads here. Doesn't mean there won't be somebody, but it's less less likely. Bison mag. Got too much more to loot, which is good. Not, not much here anyway. I, I kind of want to find some uh, NBC loot. Like I say, I've only found trousers so far. We're going to need a lot more than that. I don't know why I picked that up. I really didn't mean to pick that up. But anyway, I've got it now. Quite big those mags, aren't they? Holy shit. I think probably with a bison, you just carry one mag. I don't know if it's the sort of gun you're going to carry two of. Like, bisons are for killing zombies. If you can't kill the zombies with 64 bullets in one mag... You must be shooting like me. Now, I've taken not to... When I'm playing on vanilla especially, anyway, I don't use that helmet. Because it's actually a bit of a ball ache. Like, using the, uh, the head strap that we've got on is much better because it allows you to uh, it allows you to use the night vision goggles with a full gas suit when you go to the uh, if you go to like Riffy and then it goes dark you can still use your night vision goggles whereas if you take the helmet you can't because you've got to have the NBC hood on so I don't normally bother carrying that I, I, I keep using the cage and a different helmet Yeah, it'd be nice to find a buys, and I'd definitely take one if we found one, just because it's new, but... I think maybe eating bacon and strolling around Tissy like I own the place, I might be pushing it a bit, but never mind. I like bacon. And I cannot lie. keep that for now. I'm going to have to drop it at some point. I'm carrying too much junk, aren't I? But Onwards. Well, I am carrying too much, but it's partly to do with the way I play, you know. Like, like I'm carrying bison mags because the bison's new and I'd quite like to shoot it, you know. I'm, I'm carrying NBC loot because I'd like quite like an M4, you know. I'm going to carry all the M4 rounds because I'd quite like... You know, they, it, it gives me a reason to carry on exploring, you know. It's just the way I play. Like, if all I did was get a gun that I'm vaguely happy with and then go looking for players, I think it would be more boring for me, you know. Like, 
it's much more fun to find a firefight while I'm trying to find something I need, even if I don't really need it, you know, like, I don't need an M4, but having a bit of a mission is what keeps the game fun. Playing for, like, a little mission while the, the game happens around you is a lot more fun for me, so don't need an M4. But if I took that approach, I don't know if I'd still be playing the game, you know. Like, it would get really dull if I just... Uh, any decent sniper rifle, any decent assault rifle. Right, now let's go and camp Starry and kill everyone we see. You know, I'd probably get bored of that quite quick. Which is why I end up carrying way more loot than I need, I guess. You know, it just makes it more fun. It gives me something else to aim for. And I probably don't need two bison mags, but let's get the bullets loaded in for now. to use the weapon cleaning kit on the MP5 as well. Mostly upright zombies. I'm going to check these two little, uh, whatever they're called, bunkers. I'll have a quick look around. I'm not... There's every chance somebody could have got here yet, you know. I, I, there's plenty of people who were in the server when I joined it. Or somebody else might have found a car and driven up here as well. But I don't want to stay here too long. But I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to get so much in my comfort zone that I'm just going to assume I'm the only one here. And I think that's when I die. When I when I think I'm safe and I'm the only one here, that's when I'll die. Tambi, the bison spawn, uh, the bison, the bison spawns at military bases, so I've just found two mags here, that, that it can spawn here, or at Kamensk military base, or similar, so it's a military gun, it doesn't spawn at police stations, it's a military SMG, so it spawns in the same place as you'd find a UMP, or similar, you know, same kind of thing. Sunny Kid, I definitely do that, but knowing the right thing to do and not doing it, I'd, I'd are very different things. Basil, I only ever play on full pop or high pop servers. There's, there's never a, a, any other thing. There's no reason for me to be playing Chernorus on a low pop or an empty server, dude. Hey Beckfuss, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Take the worn MP5, was it worn? Good shout, that is a good shout. you would forgotten I needed to fix mine, to be honest, even though I did just say it. It isn't a bad shout, that. LJ, thank you for the 35 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you.
I think we're just going to keep two spares and take the bullets. We, we are the first people here on this server since it, since it went down, so... Doesn't mean there isn't somebody else here already, but nobody's been in this barracks since the, the server came up. Nobody's looted the tents pretty much since the server came up. So far so good on the update, Beckfast. It's pretty good, yeah. LJ, thank you again for the 35 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Uh, Dave Texas, cheers for the bits. Logged out at Tissy with a, damn, with a bad damn suppressor. Next time I played, first shot at Tissy, wall of zombies. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Uh, Chaos, this, this map is to the north. I don't think the other one was dead. I think he was only Oncon, and he's only Oncon to 9 mil. So if he's not dead, I'm fucked. He's, uh, he's, he's Oncon to 9 mil, but to the head, thankfully. The gun was on semi-auto. It's also my zombie killing gun with not a full mag in it. It's time to start running! GG, you the man. Jesus fucking Christ. On the upside, I've hit this one in the head, so I can have his vest. Nicely done. It's a zombie. Fucking hell, I'm not quite calmed down yet, to be honest. That was cool. I can't believe we're still alive. I can't believe we're not dead, to be honest. That was fucking cool. I actually felt confident I'd kill the second one, but he had, he had a weaker gun in his hand, and when I poked out and he had a baby AK, I was like, oh, God. Suddenly, I don't feel quite so confident. Wow. <laughs> wow.
I think we're okay. I don't think it comes this far. I was just wondering. I was thinking about having to pick a bag up and fucking off, but it doesn't come this far. Let's, let's just get our own guns ready first. Your screen shakes if it lands on you, does it, Serigan? I've never actually been close enough to uh, have that happen. Can I hear something? heard a bad dude not I'm not getting the morphine popped and running anywhere for now I'm just gonna wait here and bide my time I think that's the right thing to do I think we don't need to be going rushing anywhere already have a can open it. Right, let's get rid of that. I've not really used that at all because I've been using pistols and whatnot. We'll just get rid of that. Yeah, the front door's locked, so if they want to come in, we'll hear them use a lockpick. So if somebody tries to come in, we're going to hear it. Just trying to eat some space in my inventory. We've still got some room, so we might as well eat it. They haven't got much NBC loot either. Pioneer. Oh, he's got. He has got the jacket. I think we're going to have to drop these bison mag mags. The the bison seems a bit of a pipe dream at the moment. I might rethink it in a minute, but we'll see where we're at. He's got boots as well, so they have got more than I thought actually. Uh, what gloves has he got on? He had NBC gloves, but I shot them. That sucks. Yeah, my bag's ruined. I don't really want to take his bag, to be honest, but I don't know. Maybe we should. I don't like this bag. Oh, he's got the hood as well. So there was me saying he's not got much. He, we've got now a full suit minus... Uh, Minus the gloves and the mask, which I've not even fully looted the other dude yet. JDI, it's just bigger. It's too big. That's the simple reason. It's too big. It's bigger. It shows up more at distance, so it's not, it's not as good of a bag to have. But it's better than a ruined bag, I guess. Billy, the better loot in the static gas zones, yeah, in the in the the non-static ones, like the one that's just landed here, the loot is not better. The loot's no different at all. So yeah, in, in a static one, the loot's no different. Sorry, in a in a in a in one that's just landed, it's exactly the same loot it always would have been. Uh, Wildcats. Now, I did talk about that briefly earlier. I don't use the tactical helmet when I'm playing vanilla. I always use the strap, because if it's dark when I go to a gas zone, I can still use the night vision. It's time to start 
Hi, Kranos, how you doing? Thank you for the support, dude. Very hey kind. Hey there. And I already have one Glock mag, though. I, I can't remember. I thought I already loaded a spare. Yeah, I've got one Glock mag spares enough. I'm carrying, I'm carrying way more than I need already. Uh... Likewise, one SVD mag, I think, is enough. I'm gonna, this is going to take quite a lot of sorting, but to be honest, that's okay. Uh, uh, taking our time and doing this slowly is, is probably alright. I'm going to put a mine in this barrack when we leave, but I'm not going to do it until I'm ready to go. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuck in here, aren't I? Sort in the bushes. I think I'm okay sorting in here. If there's somebody outside, there's somebody outside. But right now there's quite a lot of zombies outside, you know. So they're actually providing a little bit of a screen for me. I'm I'm kind of happy enough sorting it out in here with the zombies outside. I know they're there. Uh, that's just took all of that out of the wrong place. I'm, I think I'd rather wait in here and go out when my health's full, you know. I think there was two. I think his mate pushed. I don't think there's another. If there was, those zombies would have aggroed on him, you know, and they didn't. So I feel like we're uh, we're okay in here. Beer, I've had the uh, the bug where you can't melee. Uh, sorry, you can't do the stealth attack. Because of a, like, crouch to standing kind of uh, bug. Which is what causes a lot of the, the weapon rays or hand state bugs. Desync. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do too many things at once here. I need to just get this done. Bear with, bear with. Do I need any more of those? Probably not. Uh, let's just try and get some more shit away. Uh, Kranus, thank you very much for the 36. And uh, Nate, thank you for the 4. Is that really all of them? Yep. All of the loose ones, anyway. A ruined backpack, once you've took it off, you can't put it back on. But it doesn't give you any heat. Uh, it doesn't give you any heat. It doesn't give you any... They get Anything that goes ruined when it's shot gives you a tiny bit of ballistic protection. So, in the process of going ruined... I'm still fucking this up. I'm putting it in there when I don't want to. In the process of going ruined, from uh, from like let's say pristine or worn, it takes a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of damage. So if your backpack's ruined and you get shot in the back, it won't do anything. Whereas if it was worn, it might do a tiny bit. Because in the process of it getting ruined, it's taking a little bit. Hmm. I don't need that. I don't know why I'm not just double clicking this, to be honest. So, we need some NBC gloves and we need a gas mask, and then we're kind of set. We can go to a gas zone, which would be very, very cool. Does my jacket... My, my jacket's ruined, so no, there's no fixing that. Still haven't got... It's amazing how long you can take looting if you if you do it as slow as I am, I guess. But we, we're still getting through things that I, I could potentially take. Which is kind of madness, considering how long we've been here. I think we, we really ought to be not taking those. So let's take them anyway. I would like to use a bison, it'd just be good because I've not had one yet, that's all, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, no, 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 take the, take the loose bullets.
Okay, so we've got we've got our guns. We've got a pistol instead now. One thing we haven't done is take his AK rounds. That's not a big mag, is it? No. The uh, the NBC gloves on the guy on the right are ruined, unfortunately. Yeah, the stamina is a problem, but each one of these mines is two kilos. Did I actually loot this bag? Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the bottle suppressor. I should. But I'm not going to bother. I've got the... Uh, I did loot it, but I didn't take that grenade. I should do it, but I've got the compensator on the Mose, and I'm going to just get, stick with that. I can't be bothered to fuck about. Nate, thank you for the four months. Kranis, thank you again. Daydream, cheers for the bits. Nicely done. Thank you, McPherson. Uh, well done, but scared me to death. I was pretty scared with that one. Perkolic, thank you for the six months. LJ, thank you again, dude. Right. Let's see how we go. I am a bit worried there's somebody out there. To be honest, I've taken so long there. I feel like if... Uh, oh my god, the stamina. If there really was somebody out, they would have already come sniffing around to think, thinking that I'd left or something. So one thing that's probably helped me through the course of that like little firefight we had there, I was hip firing and hitting them in the head. I hit the other dude, the first guy with the nine mil. I hit him in the head, I think more than once with hip fire. And then when I switched to the second guy, I uh, I hit him with hip fire to the to the head as well, which is not necessarily that hard, but it's not something that I used to go for. I in a firefight like that, I'd be just going for the fat bit and going for the chest, even at close range, like with hip spray. But, like, through the course of today, I've been killing quite a lot of zombies and aiming for their head whilst hip-firing. It's, it's certainly something you can do. Uh, and it's, it's why I won that fight. Because they were hip-firing. The guy hip-fired at me, and he knocked me unconscious with a chest shot. He had a plate carrier on, but I hit him in the face. You know, that's why I, I lived and he died. We'll get quite a lot of stamina back once I've planted these mines. Not sure how much is going to be gassed up here or not. I heard gas, but it's not even here. It must be somewhere further up. How dark is it? Dark. Eastern. Based on the loot they've got, I would guess they've already looted around here. Oh, good. Like, they've got... They had quite a lot of green NBC loot, didn't they? So I'm guessing they've already looted this area. Like I'd looted the whole tents, they hadn't, but they they'd looted all of the buildings over this way. Would be my guess. But I'm trying to have a little look at places a little bit more creative where we can check to try and find 
NBC gloves. I'm not too worried about a gas mask. We can easily get a gas mask going back towards the coast. No worries, right? But the NBC gloves, I think, would be quite good to find here. Equally, we could find them on a run back to the coast, but it's not a given. I'd rather have them here than not. New jacket is also kind of cool. Not going to bother with the tetracycline. I think the new MVGs are way better than the old ones. The only thing that I think they should change, and I guess maybe this is a bit... I'm not trying to be elitist, but I really... I don't play third person, so I, I don't really care so much. I don't know why I'm even saying it, but I'm at a loss as to why when you use MVGs in third person, it does this goggle effect with the third person camera. Like whoever's recording the third person camera behind the player has got goggles on. And, and maybe that's wrong, but... I think it, if, if you're going to have NVGs uh, with goggles, it should be in first person. And if you want them to be able to still see in green screen, then just let the whole screen be green. I, having goggles but the cameras behind the player just seems really weird. Wolo, uh, what server is this? Wolo, Wolo. I, I don't say what server I'm on while I'm playing, dude. Apologies. Thank you for the tip. Uh, but I, I don't say when I'm playing. It just it kind of spoils the stream if I do. for me. That really could be coming our way. I don't want it to poke through the doorway once it's on the ground. just wanted to be sure. be that screen shake that you were talking about. It's actually kind of cool, isn't it? I like that. That's cool, actually, when it lands on you and it gives you that kind of confirmation. Time to start running. So I don't have a gas mask. I'm pretty sure those dudes have already looted this. Oh look, so the first gas zone we heard was at the at that bit there. Now another Jesus Christ, it really doesn't like me, does it? Holy shit. Next one's gonna land and it's gonna be at the tents. The one drawback right now is just the sheer scale of how much shit I'm carrying. You know, I'm going to have to plant these mines. Like, like I want to go back to the coast, right? And I want to go back with a reason. I'd quite like to find a bison. I won't get that from the coast, but I'd quite like to find a uh, a bison, which is why we're still looking here, and some NBC gloves. But I'd like to go back and do a gas zone loot. Why the fuck not? You know, we might as well. It gives us a little bit of something else to play for. 
So I'm carrying all the 556 in the hope of getting an M4. But it does mean travelling back with no fucking stamina. I'm going to plant every mine I've got at this base. Got to be a bit careful because we might get some dead dude's revenge, you know. One of them was carrying three mines. There's nothing to say he hasn't planted it, is there? Chaos, uh, chaos, Isa, not, not today. They have not done anything with cars on this patch, though. The, 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 they're meant to be working on patches, uh, sorry, on cars soon, and bringing new tech for vehicles into the game. But they've not done that for this patch. NBC gloves is what I'm after. Just leaving the mines in kind of randomly different locations. Well, I do want an M4. How many mags have I got? One, two, two mags, three. I'll keep three for now. Coco, the, uh, the only things I don't have are the, the gloves and the uh, gas mask. months have been a wild ride. Thanks for the content I have had hours of entertainment. Wish you all the best. Yeah, someone's asking about the mines, or at least I, I'm seeing it second hand. While that's clicking like a clock, like that, while it's ticking like a clock, I should say, it, it's not active. When it stops ticking, don't stand on it. So, I... It's, it feels a bit risky. You know how, like, Daisy can be a little bit buggy at times. It feels like you're, you're slightly putting your life into your own hands, but equally, setting the mine standing outside of the barrack in the open, when you could be setting the mine inside the barrack, not in the open, it's a little bit of, like, six or one half a dozen the other. To me, personally, I think I'd rather do what I've just done and set it inside and then go outside afterwards. You can put the mine down and then throw things underneath them. Sorry, throw things on top of them. It's not so easy to put a mine... Like, if there's an item there, it won't let you put it straight underneath it. But what you can do is, like, put the mine down and then chuck stuff on top. I don't think there's going to be NBC gloves, because if there was any, the other dude would have been wearing them, wouldn't he? Like, one guy had NBC gloves and quite a lot of the suit, and the other guy didn't have NBC gloves. Like, if there were any gloves, the chances are they both would have had them. Okay, I think that's a lot. I don't think there's anything else we can loot. I've left all the mines. I like to think of a player that comes here, stands on a mine, and gets all pits pissed off, and then fixes themselves up, fixes their leg, and then immediately goes into the next barrack and stands on another mine. I've done that. I've done that and survived, like two mines at the tents. So it's not de definitely a death sentence, but it sounds like it could be fun, but not me. Right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna head towards the the medical that's kind of this way. 
on the way towards Kaminsk military base. It wasn't a bison, big boss, unfortunately. It was a UMP. I found loads of UMPs here. I've not seen a bison, unfortunately. Why are you not going there? Guys, I'm going to have to go for a piss in a second. I kind of need to go. Wizard, the, the field jacket or the M65 jacket comes in uh, four colours. Green, like an olive green. A khaki, kind of light, well, a darker green. Mottled, like, like, not mottled, but... There's, there's olive green, khaki green, uh, black and tan. They're the standard colours in the regular game. Got rid of mags for what now, Birdie? I kept one mag for the uh, for the VSS, if that's what you mean. I kept one 20 round mag, which will do. Lane, I, Ian, sorry, not Lane. I'd, I'd probably go up to about 160-ish. I, I, I play quite often on Eastern American servers. Which normally are about 130, but they can be up to 160, 180. I spent a long time, many years, playing Daisy Underground in America, and that was like 160-ish. If a wolf aggro's on you, it means no players. No, wolves just aggro on you because they're around, you know, like... It's not relative to players. Uh... Solid Mantis, thank you for the six months. Blackjack, I have nothing to say. Ah, oh, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Tenors, thank you for the three months. That's very, very kind. Aztec, thank you for the ten months. Sorry, ten months. Gifted subs times ten. Dude, thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Aztec, thank you for gifting subs. Ten subs, man. Thank you. How's it been going? Pretty good. It's been all right. I am going to have to go AFK, like I say, I'm about to burst, so let's just get up this way. What? I've got some damp clothes, but I don't think we need to make a fire. Ritorex, it's a military spawn. Go to military bases and seek and you shall find. <clears throat> now, I found six on experimental at Kamensk and Tissy, but I've just looted Tissy and I've not found a single one, so I've been a bit unlucky, but it's a military spawning gun. Thank you. actually kind of don't want to go AFK while well, it's dark because we can utilize the night vision but I'm going to quickly disappear uh, for a week. My missus just brought me some dinner but I'm going to go for a piss before I burst. Uh, Gambra, thank you very much for the three months. That's really kind dude. Thank you. No, I'll be back in a sec. It won't be long.
Right, sorry guys, I'm back. Dave, thank you for the bits. Super Bowl halftime sucked. I thought, thought it was all right. I'm not the massivest fan of hip hop in the world, but it was better than some of the recent ones. Fucking hell. <clears throat> I thought it was a bit weird that Dr. Dre was kind of pretending to be a DJ on some piece of plastic. That was a bit weird. LJ, we don't see the commercials in the UK. They, uh, the BBC have the rights to it in the UK, so every time there's a commercial, it just cuts to the people in the studio. We don't see any commercials. That was a real soundboard. Well, there was bits where he was pretending to be a DJ. There was no, there was no decks. Suplex, I understand it's a show, but it, I don't really get it. I, it just seemed weird seeing someone pretend to DJ, like like, like miming without opening your mouth. I just didn't get it. I did, like I say, it's no big deal, but I just didn't really get it. I don't think he was really doing any proper mixing there. I could be wrong. And I still liked it. I thought it was like compared to some of the previous halftime shows, the last the last two or three years anyway, the games have been great and the uh, the halftime shows have been kind of shit. This time the game was a bit meh and the halftime show was pretty good. Maybe there's a correlation there. Christopher, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> I don't know, it was alright. I, 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 I watched the game. I, I was a little bit surprised. Now, the last quarter... I watched in bed on my phone with no sound because I was like I'm gonna go to bed now and then I went to bed and I was like no I can't I want to watch it but I didn't want to wake my missus up so <laughs> I watched the last quarter it I just watched it in, like quietly let's say I watched most of the game downstairs so I didn't hear any commentators or anything on the last bit but I was really surprised with the last few minutes like there was bit there was flags being chucked about all over the place for stuff that looked like they were letting go the whole game and then in the last two minutes they suddenly got stripped like stripped like the refs wanted the the uh, the, uh, the Los Angeles Rambos to win And there was a there was an LA dude earlier in the game that had grabbed hold of someone's shirt and was pulling him back, like and that wasn't given as any kind of infringement. But then they gave worse in worse things for less. They gave penalties later on. I thought it was a bit shit. You know? And they did let the face mask grab one go as well. You know that. The rest let loads of stuff go, and then in the last two minutes they were like, "Fucking hell, let's let's just make sure we sway the game." Like you say, it probably evened out over the whole game.
Right, I still need NBC gloves, so we might as well check this actually. I thought that the uh, the Bengals Dan Marino was a little bit young and not quite ready, whereas the uh, whereas the Rams Dan Marino was a little bit more like experienced, a little bit more seasoned. He was a little bit better at being Dan Marino. Now, I hasten to add, like, I don't know much about the game. So I'm basing that on the way they played. I know that uh, Burroughs, his name is, isn't it? I know he's a bit more of a novice, like, much, much newer at it. But it shows, you know. I watch you more than Netflix, so it's time for me to contribute as well. D, good job. Thanks. Servic, dude, thank you very much for the support. Thank you, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much for checking out the streams. Cheaper than Netflix, right? And half as good. Here's for the support, man. <clears throat> hey, Drain, well, I wasn't denying it, but I was trying to, I was trying to ask you questions as to what the experience was like, like for most of the game it didn't by the way you know you did all right they nearly won you know it's easy to say after the event oh i told you but it was fucking tight as ourselves and they nearly didn't win it i thought it was a bit of a shame that david beckham got injured you know he looked like the best player It's weird, because I thought he played for LA, LA Galaxy. Excuse me. Right, I don't need to do those. Is it getting light yet? Nearly. We ain't going to find NBC gloves over there, are we? So forget that. God, we've got a long fucking way to go to get to... Uh To get back to the coast from here. Oh, no. Oh, he'd, he'd, all he would have was a filter, and I don't need a filter. I know it's dark, guys, but... Well, I'll put the camera up, but it's going to be light enough for you to see within about five minutes, I'd have thought. Yeah, I'm going to try and make my way back to the gas zone. That's the plan. But I'm going to go via places where we might find a bison just to s try and have one, you know. I've got, I've got two full mags for the bison. I'd like to shoot it, even if it's just for killing zombies, you know. That'd be kind of cool. The stamina's improving though. Now I've uh, now I've expelled all of my uh, uh, landmines. <coughs> I won't be surprised if we bump into someone coming this way. You know, like this this particular route, going against the tide and going back. I should think there's half a chance we'll bump into someone. Like somebody that started an hour and a half ago could easily be leaving, t uh, like commencing melee base coming this way. I don't think the fuzzy, the, the, the fuzzy, I don't think the zombies are any different. Why bother with MVGs when you got 20 minute nights, 4 and 7, because it's properly pitch black? I, I don't understand. It's like saying why bother with a condom if you're only going to have sex for 5 minutes, you know? Like, you still have sex. It's still important, dude. I don't really understand your point.
Uh, Akada, Sarge, uh, Survival, and Asvini, thank you for the follows. I don't know how long I had the night vision on, by the way, and it, it must have been a good 20 minutes, and I, had a, I went and had a piss, and I was gone for like two or three minutes. You know, it's been a while. To be honest, when I said five minutes, I was wondering if perhaps I should have said two. <laughs> I am Silver Thunder, yeah. I've come from Tissy, though. I'm going back towards the coast. I'm hoping that we might uh, get a couple more things for the... I, I need gloves. I need gloves, NBC gloves, and I'm after, I'm after that, and I'm also after a bison, just to see how it is, you know. But I've got plenty of stuff. I've got loads of shit, basically. I'd just like to know what servers you're playing on that have longer than 20 minutes night time, other than official, of course. And like, uh, like, you don't even need night vision goggles if you're playing third person official because it has the lighter nights. This server's got properly dark nights where you can't see your feet on, on the ground when it's dark, so you definitely need night vision. What keeps running through the night <coughs> until it's day? It's cause you fall. The running man said you're my second longest relationship that I chose to be in. You're a legend. You're so inspiring to watching is a pleasure. So keep moving forwards and never Aww. change you. Second longest that you chose to be in, not the ones you got stuck with, eh? <laughs> Watchful. Thank you for the support. That's really, really kind. Thank you. I think one hour nights are too long, by the way, four and seven. And if you like it, great, by the way. You're not wrong, but... If you, pl if you play first person official and you get a full server, you're already doing well, you know, like third person official on PC gets full. I haven't seen a first person official server full for a while. The last time I played official, I had to play first person in a third person server. And you don't need night vision on those servers anyway, because it's not even fucking dark. You know, they, they don't even get dark. You can just run around and shoot people 300 meters away in the in the night. Hi Marco, hope you're good. <coughs> God, this is taking a while. I, I, you'd think I could probably save some stamina, wouldn't you? But no. Watchful, thank you for the ten months. Really, really kind, dude. I'm all right, Watchful. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I, I had a pretty decent day. I have not shot anyone that. Well, I actually might not be true. I was just going to say I've not shot anyone that wasn't trying to kill me, but I may have shot first in that last encounter. The guy came into my house. I think I shot before he did, but we were at Tissy, so it felt like self-defense, but I may have fired the first bullet. I don't really know. Hi, Red Army. Hope you're good. Yeah, he kind of just uh, opened the door and was greeted by a face full of 9 mil. I'm not sure if they did know I was in there, Dell. I was coming out. I'd already looted it. He didn't have his gun raised, I don't think. He opened the door. Maybe he did. You might be right. I don't know, but... I, y to be fair, you're probably right. It's much more likely that he knew I was in there than not, because I'd only just gone in that room, hadn't I? <coughs> But even so, like, if he did know I was in there, why would he open the door and then just steamroll her in, you know? I, it, my gut instinct in the moment was that he didn't know. Because if he did know, he opens the door while his mate aims down the through the window, you know? If there's two of them and they know, I don't think the guy opening the door then just lets himself in full frontal. <coughs> they certainly played it like they didn't know. Uh, chesty. My breathing's a bit shit. Uh, I don't like unlimited stamina, to answer your question, Noob, but I, I only just saw it. But yeah, I, I think for servers that want to use it and for the right server, it, it's great and people like it, but 
It's easy to say now while I'm really waylaid, you know, this is kind of crazy, but I'm choosing to carry all this shit. Nobody else is making me, are they, you know? But I don't like the game with infinite stamina. It's very different. I much prefer stamina than none. Uh, I don't much... Some of the servers that have, like, Endzone used to have a system where you would get uh, half stamina. Like, like, until you got to half stamina, you had infinite. But if you carry too much, you then get regular stamina again. So... Like, if you wanted to be a loot whore, there was a penalty. I think that was a pretty good system, you know, as a compromise for a modded server, but I think the game as a survival game works much better with stamina. It's part of the game. It's part of the decision-making. Like, if you're on an infinite stamina server and you kill a dude and you aggro eight zombies, or in any scenario where you aggro eight zombies and you're kind of struggling... You can just run away. You can just run away and they'll de-aggro and then you can loot back again, you know, like... If you've got stamina to deal with... Earlier I was firing and I aggroed like six zombies at the Tissy. And I had to... Like, well, I ended up having to shoot them all, you know. And if you don't shoot well, you get swamped. You get hurt, you know, like... There's consequences to your actions. If you don't have stamina, there's very few consequences a lot of the time. You can just run away. <coughs> Mega Shack, a lot of people say that, and you may well be right. I think the reason the devs won't do it is because it actually plays into the hands of fresh another ball month, killers. Sub. The devs in the past, like going back to Brian Hicks's era, have said that they'll never do a, a soft skill that increases uh, your, adv your advantage in PvP, like having more stamina. Or, for example, if you're a new spawn, your only advantage over a fully geared dude is that you can run away, you know? If the, if the fully geared dude can gain more stamina back to keep up with you, then you're fucked, aren't you? You know, like, uh, th there's kind of some balancing in there. You know, if you're fully geared and you've got a plate carrier on, you're not travelling as quick. Being able to train yourself to be as quick would remove the balancing, I suppose. Excuse me. Decapitate. No, Hicks has been elsewhere for a long time. Uh, Dean Hall even longer, you know. I think Dean Hall left in early 2015, something like that. Hicks was around till about 2018 off the top of my head, maybe 17. Hard to know for set for sure. Maybe maybe 18. It's hard. I can't, I can't really remember. <coughs> In some ranks, uh, the, the lead dev right now, uh, and it was Yugen before that, and then it was Brian Hicks, then it was Dean Hall. Hi Greavesy, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I, d I did mention this the other day, but I, I don't know Brian brilliantly well. I know him a little bit, you know, I've played with him in DayZ once or twice. I know him a little bit from him being a developer of the game. He's not, well, it, like, I know him a little bit. He's, he's a nice guy, right? Uh, but I, I saw on Twitter that he now works... He, he did move to New Zealand and work for Rocketworks, but he now seems to be working for the company that makes uh, the Long Dark. So far, so good, Liam. 116's been running pretty well. Metal, Metal Mike, thank you for the 21 months. That's very kind. Uh, Colour Colour Music, thank you for the four months. Once again, very kind as well, dude. Thanks for the support. I'm kind of keeping my eyes open. I don't really need anything from here. <coughs> I could go to the well. It's a very open well. Uh, I don't need any loot. I don't need anything. Uh, I just need to get to Troitsky or Kamensk and do that quick. Latino, no, I haven't played pretty much any console games since about 2014. Uh, Sarge, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. I hope you're good. Thanks for finding the stream, dude. Hinterland, yeah, that sounds about right. I couldn't remember the name of the company.
It's remarkably quiet. I have to say, I'm going to turn the gamma off now. I'd be amazed if when we get to Troitsky coming up, there's not somebody knocking around. But one problem I have got, my kids are at uh, my mum's at the moment. They're staying at the grandma's. It's not a problem. It's great. Like, but I've got to go and pick them up in about an hour and a half. So I'm trying to find the gloves and the gas stuff that I need and then get to Tissy with enough time to go and find an M4. Or Sorry, not Tissy, Riffy. Uh, but I've only got about an hour and a half to achieve it, which isn't so easy with this stamina. <laughs> Hopefully we can do it today or have a firefight and not die, but kill everyone. I'm not surprised it's quiet, Skira. I, I, th I think there's a chance we'll bump into someone as we go back this way, but I'm not surprised it's felt quiet so far, to be honest. Uh, everyone's starting on the coast, so like... If in the last hour 20 new people have joined the server, they're all a new spawn because the server, this server, had started afresh today. So uh, there's nobody already geared in the northwest. Everyone's starting as a new spawn, which is kind of cool that we bumped into two players at Tissy. To be fair, that it's so they they looted their way through. Both of them guys had looted through to Tissy this afternoon, uh, and have had had a reset. come up here to keep my eye out for zombies. I don't see any upright zombies, which is a bit worrying. <coughs> uh, legalize. I, I don't really give it too much thought. I can more than hold my own in a firefight. I can, I can uh, have good days and bad days. I'm not the best out-and-out PvPer, but I can mix it up with, with most people, you know, I, I don't I ain't too worried. No, I, I killed four people with a fucking Magnum on the, the very last stream. <laughs> I, I can hold my own, but I have good days and bad, you know, I'm not as consistent as, say, Smoke or Taupe or someone, you know. When I say I killed four people, I mean a squad. They were all together and they were all at least as geared as I would. I was. I don't mean like four separate people drinking at wells. <clears throat> Thanks for the follows as well. Uh, Moja, Gorm, uh, Scorpio, Scorpio uh, Tandle. And Elk, thank you for the follows. Uh, best Daisy PvP is a very subjective. I just mentioned a couple of them there. I know, without a doubt, Smoke and Topa right up there. Uh, but this conversation is one that we've done to death. It, it really is like there's there's Doc Dreist is brilliant. There's loads of others that are very very good. You know, there's there's loads of them. You know, uh, like going back to the old days, like Psy Syndicate won two uh, Survivor games with uh, Cat. Psy Syndicate is great on his day, you know, just like lots of other people are, you know. They're, they're, but the thing is, Daisy's so situational, you know, it's, uh, there's so much more to it, and it's not just about kills. It, if it were more like a battle royale, then you could sort of get to see stats and work out who's the best, but it's not that, is it? There's so much more to the game. Like, some people will shoot always and not trust anyone and get more kills, and other people will get killed sometimes because they're trying not to shoot, you know, like, uh, there's ways to play. Sour's great as well, Hyper Pro. Yeah, Sour is great. Uh, and the reality is, for me personally, though, I've been watching, say, Taupe or Smokestream Daisy for like five years. Sour is an amazing player and he's been making YouTube videos for a while, but I've not seen him as much, you know. Like, uh, he's, he's so young, he's still coming through. <laughs> he's, 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 he's not even made it to the Stafford era yet. I'm like the. Uh, I'm already retired Dan Marino. Uh. He hits the set. They're like uh, Sour is still like the up and comer, but he is epically good. <coughs> uh, Lewis, thank you for the follow. Uh, thanks a lot, dude. All right, we're at we're at the military base. Now, I kind of need to loot it as much as I don't want to because it is a decent place for us to find NBC gloves. So. 
I think I'm going to try. I, I did pick up these. They don't work as well as NBC gloves, but the surgical gloves give you some protection. So if I can't find any, I can always use that, I suppose. Pull. Yeah, I have. Not for a while, but yeah, I have. Uh, bumped into him a couple of times, yeah. Right. What I don't want to do is go straight to shooting Zeds. <coughs> I want to try and have a look if I can. Like, even just there, that we've just seen three or four zombies all quite close together. Which either means one of two, there's another one further apart. I, it, there's quite a few zombies here. Which makes me wonder. And there's always a lot of zombies here, but if, if there's me and another two players here, there'll be all the more zombies, right? So, I don't know. I'm a little bit Let's fearful. Go. Actually not the best place to overwatch from. There's a zombie just mooching around on the far side over there. Just through the bush. I think we should, if there's somebody here, we should see a dead zombie fairly quickly. I don't seem to be seeing any. Uh, Dirty Gaming, thank you very much for the support. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the bits, dude. Thank you very much. So I need NBC gloves. I'm not really after anything else. I don't need any M4 rounds. I don't. I don't need any uh, AK-74 rounds. I'll probably still pick them up if I found them. I certainly pick those up. But the reason I'm here is purely to find NBC gloves and maybe a gas mask. If I find a gas mask, I'm going to have to drop the bison mugs. That's the other thing as well. It'd be nice to find a bison, even if we just shoot it a few times and kill a few zombies. It would be nice to actually shoot it. And when I came here on experimental I found quite a few bisons and I never had a mag. Now I've got the mags so hopefully today's the day. I need a compass. Probably don't need those either, but I'm still taking them. Well, there was something on the floor there. I think it was a mag, but you never know. It could have been gloves. It was a mag. Damn it. I'm not going to loot everywhere here. There's there's some stuff up there, like a shed where quite quite oh, there's a lot of zombies up there, isn't there? But yeah, up there you sometimes get guns. Often you'll get something that someone's missed. This has been looted. Someone's been here uh, since the last restart, whenever that was. But uh oh my god. 
I, I can't raid a base today, can I? I guess there's there's no bases to raid. So, like the servers, the servers had a restart today, a ref, like a, a wipe. So, we only need grenades for killing people. We don't need grenades for base raiding, which basically will kill me. This this military base is uh, it's on the map maybe as Troitsky, Troitsko, uh, right next to Kamensk town, north of the map. I'm not bitter about blowing myself up. No, I, I'm 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 frustrated. It made for a good video. <laughs> there is that, you know. If I'd have successfully raided that base and got in and stolen all the loot, it would have made the editing harder. The fact that I blew myself up and then died when I got back made the video a lot easier to edit. <laughs> So every cloud has a silver lining. <clears throat> NBC gloves, please. just as I'm about to fucking shoot. Might be something to do with my horrific stamina, but never mind, eh? If an X, we don't need that. Well, somebody drop that here and find a better bag, but that could have been ages ago. Oh, wow. Paying my dues. M16. Gonna drop this AK. Kill Phil, dude, that's very generous, man. Paying you dues. Dude, thank you very much. Another MP5 this time. No bisons. The bison just doesn't seem to want to spawn. Only a plethora of mags. You know you've got lots of gear when you're running around shooting an AK that makes a sound, because you've got so much. Still after NBC gloves. The plate carrier is more OP on a zombie than it is on a player, isn't it? It's, it's really good. Still after NBC gloves. Or a gas mask. I think we're going to have to go to Severograd.
I think for me personally, the M16 is an absolute no-brainer. I'm kind of hoping to get a uh, M M4 in the long run. Not that I really need one, but like we're going to the to the gas zone to try and get an M4, perhaps. Uh, carrying the AK when I could use the M16 instead makes no sense. The M16's higher power. All right, it's only it's only uh, burst fire, but it's higher rate of fire, higher power per round. It's just a better gun at close to mid range, I think. Personally, I'd much rather use this. I think we've got food here. I don't need to kill that deer. Of course, having fired, it could, could be bringing someone up. Day and bought a carton of eggs, a loaf of bread, and a gallon of milk. The cashier said, "You must be single." The man replies, "Wow, how do you know that?" The cashier says, "Because you're ugly." <laughs> Yoda, thank you for the bits. Very kind. Uh, tally Merc, it, to be honest, dude, it's it's not something that I'm really wanting to get really involved in. Uh, hence the purge. It's no drama, but it's just somewhat of a negative subject. Uh, it has cycles of good and bad for stuff like that, unfortunately. No bison. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to drop the uh, the bison mag, actually. Uh, there is a couple of military spawns just ahead. There is just the smallest chance we might find a bison up ahead, but it would save us another couple of kilos, wouldn't it? These are a kilo each. We've got some bullets, too. We might as well drop it in a minute. But The thing I'm, I'm kind of worried about is, is the NBC gloves. Like I say, I need those. We've got plenty of places we can loot on the way back. I don't have a gas mask either, so do I go, do I go to Severograd, check the hospital and the fire station, give myself the best possible chance, but then I might run out of time before I can get to, to Riffy. But what's the point of going to Riffy if I don't have the equipment? You know, I don't really know. Now, there is a chance there'll be somebody here as well. We need to keep an eye out, I guess. I'd say now there's more chance of bumping into a player than there has been at any time. Like, a lot of people will be getting here having spawned in. The closer we get to the coast, the more chance, I think. Compared to normal, where people could be logging in at Tissy already. Uh, no, no dead zombies. They are fairly well spread out. But there's no dead ones. Oh, there could be somebody here. Oh, shit. I, I didn't actually mean to fire the first shot. The second one was a miss. God. <coughs> Just tried to melee with my weapon and I can't. I haven't got enough stamina to melee with my weapon. Holy shit. I find it... I, I, I've talked about that in the past, but it is a bit weird that you can't melee with your, with your gun when you're out of stamina, because you can melee with a melee weapon when you're out of stamina. I'd find, I've always found that a bit weird. Like, why can you melee with an axe when you're out of stamina, but you can't with a Glock? <clears throat> Yoda, thank you for the bits once again. Kill Phil, you're insanely kind, dude. Thanks very, very much. And uh, Dirty Gaming, thank you as well, dude. Did I load the other Glock, Mag? No. Oh, I feel like there's a bear trap in there. Fucking hell. That actually scared me a little bit. B 
because I was looking down for the bear trap, the zombie moving in the distance kind of scared me, or the, in the back of the room. Sneeze, yeah, they've, they've made the, uh, the, the heavy attack punch a little bit uh, less distance, so it's not as OP. You can't, the running punch doesn't have the range it used to have, so you can't get hit from somebody like meters away from you with the running punch. Uh, CLB and Mosin, thank you for the follows. How long am I streaming for? I should be on for about uh, about another hour, roughly, just over, maybe just under. Keep up the good work, love you long time. These zombies just done me again. Rex Cargo, dude, thank you for the four months. That's very kind, man. Thank you. Hardly any stamina, so every time I'm trying to hold my breath. And it's my own stupid fault. I have just saved a bit of stamina by dropping the AK stuff. Now I'm only carrying uh, mags for the gun that I've got, pretty much. Need to try and get some NBC gloves. That's that's. Oh fuck! Somebody was here. I didn't kill that zombie. Great content. <gasps> oh, don't really need a morphine. Let's have it anyway. I'm after NBC gloves. Can I have those? I really don't want to go to the gas zone without the relevant gear. I wonder if I scared the other dude away shooting my pistol, or maybe he just left, but it's weird that there's a dead zombie in there, but there's no dead zombie anywhere else, you know, like all the other zombies I've killed. Like, he heard my suppressed shot and has, like, flanked around, he could still be here. He could have flanked around and come around this way looking for me. Yeah, maybe the AK I fired made him come up looking for me and I've missed missed him and we've gone gone our separate ways, perhaps. Well, I guess we're never going to find him, are we? Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Oh well, down to Severograd we go. Crom Julio, I, Crom Julio, sorry, I think it's about five minutes, but I'm not entirely convinced I'm accurate on that anymore. It might be ten, but it's nowhere near as long as a dead body. I'm not, I'm not Wobo. Dead zombies means players recent, whereas dead players could be 50 minutes ago. With a dead player, the flies on, unlike vanilla, it's 15 minutes and then the flies appear. So if you find a player with no flies, you know it was a bit more recent.
Six minutes for a zombie, is it? Okay. So yeah, not very long. Kalia, Kalia. Yeah, I'm playing the new update now on stable. I was going to. Oh yeah, I want to fix my uh, fix my pantaloons. Hi in the dirt. I got the M16 from Kamensk military base, just north of where we are now. There was actually another one, just where we were. Uh, I, I, I think I startled the guy shooting the zombie. And he's naffed off. I might run out of time before I can get to Riffy today, guys, which kind of sucks. But I need to get the I need to get the uh, gas mask. More so than that, I need to get the NBC gloves. So I've got to go and check the hospital. If we, if we do the hospital first in Severograd, maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be NBC gloves there, and then then I can not bother with the fire station. We'll see. Starhawk, it's pants and jackets more often than not. Uh, it's just, I think it's just where the zombies hit, but it's normally your pants or your jacket more often than not. Your arms or your legs. Excuse me, Mr. Nobody, I think people have... I've been getting people having two alerts for so long. Like, two alerts for the same month. I don't think the guy had a clue I was there in the bathroom, Sonny. I don't think he would have come in that way if he did. Uh, well, it's actually a minute, Garrett, since you you gifted uh, Trolley McTrollison. So, uh, I haven't missed that, okay. Uh, thank you for the gifted sub. It's a minute, that doesn't count. Uh, Dave Death, thank you for the two months. Dingbat Dave, thank you for the eight months. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. You're very, very kind. Thank you. That's very accurate, not Nack Fuchs. Mike, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Of course you were, Garrett. Of course you were. Mr. Nobody, thank you for the resub, dude. Uh, Mike, thank you very, very much for the support. I can't say your full name because it'll be a lie. Cad guy, dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb, man. Thank you very, very much. Ooh, she got me excited for a minute. Uh, it's, uh, it did the weapon raise bug thing again because I've been crouched. Right, come on, please let me get the NBC gloves. I find good loot here for the for the uh, gas zone all the time. The NBC gloves would be immense. And Levno, well, thanks for coming in. It's been an okay day. We've got like three kills. It's been okay. <coughs> three kills, like just while we're doing like a, a regular adventure, you know. Like it's been all right. Cad guy, thank you again for the gifted subs. That's very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Likewise, 8-inch. 
Uh, cheers for the nine months. Eight inch man's Twitch baby. Buy me. Right for some. Tico, yeah, I, I can go to Krasno Airfield. That's kind of next on the thing. But because we're here and I absolutely need one, I kind of feel like I, I'm, I need to do what I'm doing. You know, like I actually need to check it. I think. Like if we don't, I'll end up. I don't want to go there without the gloves. I think that would be dumb. Even though I've got these uh, rubber gloves, which do us like a backup. And that's a good start. We've got the gas mask now. That's kind of cool. Just need NBC gloves and we're, we're well away. And then I normally do better in the outside buildings where we've just checked than I do actually in the hospital itself. So, and we've done okay there, but no, uh, no gloves. Surgical gloves provide some protection, but not as much, so you can still bleed, but I think the bleed rate is slower. So when you've got no gloves on, you're going to bleed like every 15 seconds. I think the bleed rate is slower, but you're still going to bleed, so uh, they're not perfect, let's say. Three bandages. Let's take another one. Come on, give me the gloves. Give me the gloves. You know you want to. I don't want to go to the fire station. To be honest, the fire station, I feel like we've got less chance than, than here. I'd feel like I find gloves at the fire station really, really rarely. I think we're still going to have to check it, though. It's annoying. I, I fucking shot the dude. Shot the dude's gloves in the in the milli base. It cuts two per exposed body part. It, it cuts two per gloves, but you get two cuts because of your hands and your feet. But the, I think every other body part is one bleed, from what I remember. I think your head is one. Your your hands and your feet are, are two. That makes five, and then you've got jacket and trousers, seven. I think that's right. Don't quote me on it. Oh my god. Wobo did cover it in his video. It was all going so well. Let's move away from where all the zombies are going to go. Smarty, dude, thank you for the 26 months. Hope you're good, dude. Thank you very much. Could be worse. You could be Amish Zed. Kappa. I don't know. I don't think he'd be as bad as that. DC's bits are only exchangeable for whiskey. <laughs> Kill Phil. Well, uh, I will exchange them for whiskey. That sounds like a good plan. I like the sound of that. Uh-oh. Cheers for the support, dude. I really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to drop the... Uh, uh, I'm going to drop the, the bison stuff. I ain't going to find a bison now, am I? Kind of unlucky. I, I, how rare is it? It's not even that great of a gun. How rare is it going to be if you can't find one? And we've done... We've done the prison island... Where it might not spawn because it's not really... It. Well, it, you can get military loot there because we found an, a, a, an AK there and a baby AK. But we've done the prison island. We've done the southwest military base past Kamenka. We've done uh, Mishkino tents. We've done the West Evac military base. We've done Tissi. And we've done Kamensk military base. Like we are, The only military bases we're not done really are Vibor and Northwest Airfield. I'm guessing they're all spawned there. It'd actually be kind of cool if there was quite a few of them at VMC or Vibor or whatever. It'd be quite cool if they were there. I haven't really bothered looting VMC on 
vanilla for like ever. Okay, we, we need that. NBC gloves. NBC gloves. Bastard moved, he did. Lots of fire axes. pistol suppressor hasn't got long left in it but I think I'm going to leave it anyway I've got another I've got another pistol suppressor I don't want to keep using the weapon cleaning kit I think we'll just let it degrade there was a player three or four buildings back I, I checked the garages, Sonny. I don't think the other sheds can. I think the ones I've checked can do. Maybe that one can, but I've, I've checked where I normally find NBC stuff. I don't find it in that. I don't find it over there. You heard a guy say hello, did you? I didn't hear it. I was talking and you think you heard someone say it like, oh, fucking hell. Maybe he's pissed off at me for not replying, about to shoot then. All I heard was a cow mooing in the distance, like, Marrr. it could have sounded like, hello? Marrr. Hello? <laughs> Could have been. Uh, Romy, thank you for the bits. <laughs> I think you heard a cow. Don't hear a cow, man. Uh, Romy, cheers for the bits. Thank you very much. Kill Phil, thank you again. You're very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Mickey Finnegan, uh, cheers for the, for the resub. Thank you very much. Got the fucking minerals to bolt that. Oh well, onwards and upwards. Cow go moo. actually aggroed on me so we can we can keep going well if there is someone he, he said hello and then fucked off I think what you heard was a cow sounding like hello remember to check my corners oh I check them don't worry there's one I guess I check corners rightly or wrongly based on probability you know if I'm in a military base I'm much more likely to check corners even then I might miss the odd one, I'm not perfect, but if I'm on a milli base, I'll probably have my gun raised and I'll open the doors and I'll check. Like I did at Tissy most of the time, you know, like in Severograd, I'm probably less likely to be checking every corner because it's Severograd and it's fucking huge. And there's less likely someone's going to be waiting with their gun raised for me to open the door. 
Which is why sometimes I'll open a door and get killed, I guess. But if I checked every corner like there was definitely a player there, I wouldn't get anywhere half the time. I'd be fucking stuck in Severograd for the rest of the stream. Alright, well we're going to have to rely on uh, possibly Chennai Palana or the Northeast Airfield for our NBC gloves. I don't hold out too much hope, you know. I think I think we may end up looting Berezino Town Centre trying to find NBC gloves at this rate, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, how long have we got left? I've got about 45 minutes until I've got to do go, guys. So I think today probably the gas zone might be out, out the window. I suspect we can probably get some more action and also get ready to do the gas zone another day, hopefully this week, but we'll see how we go. I wonder if we should stay close to the road. Like, I'm thinking about, like, action, not about what's the right thing to do, but... I'd quite like to get shot at. I don't want to get killed, but it'd be quite nice to get a firefight, wouldn't it? Saying that, staying close to the road here would be extraordinarily dumb because it's about to get very open and the road's in a valley, so I think we'll stay on the edge of the tree line and then uh, keep an eye out as we get to Svagino. This server must have high cow pop. Blimey. Whiskey, I better do that. <laughs> Frag, well blimey, joking in flip-flops, eh? Interesting. Uh, thank you for the bits, dude. Very, very kind. 412 12 days, not that you're counting. That is quite a long time. I wouldn't advise you go jogging in flip-flops, otherwise you might spend 412 days in fucking traction. Jogging in flip-flops, it feels like a broken nose waiting to happen when you fall flat on your face. We've got lots of stamina now, haven't we? Look at it. We've got all the stamina. And considering how much we're carrying, we actually have got <laughs> good stamina, but... Uh, I wonder if anyone's stood on one of my mines at Tissy yet. I'd like to think they have. I left four mines active at Tissy Millie Base. What did I have for lunch today? I had... Uh, spicy tomato uh, and rice soup, I think it's called. Uh, for lunch. And for dinner I had... Uh, southern fried chimpkin... Uh, in pita bread with roasted peppers and ketchup. Not seen anyone in ages. He's a new spawn. Hello? You alright, dude? What? You alright? You haven't got any NBC gloves yeah. for trade, have you? And I'm looking for NBC gloves for the gas zone. What are the NBC? What, what are the... They're gloves for the gas zone. What do you mean? NBC gloves. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have... Shit. Alright, never mind. Alright, well, not to worry. Good luck, dude. Stay safe. Yeah, good luck. I'm not going to grenade you. You seem too innocent. I can't do it. I haven't got the, I haven't got the heart. <laughs> Poor guy. He obviously didn't have any NBC gloves. He didn't have any fucking gloves. Never mind NBC gloves. 
Right, let's just check. Unpin. That means it already is pinned, because if I have to unpin it, the pin must be in. So that means we can just, like, put that there without fear of reprisal. Yes. Outgun, you seem a bit serious, dude. I know I've missed all of your conversation, but it seemed like an interesting one. <laughs> oh, I see now. You, you're just you're just trying to get everyone to pile in crypto to make the price go up. Good plan. <laughs> uh, you want to go to a financial advice stream. Well, I was actually thinking of, like, if he seemed okay, I was going to leave him. But if he seemed worthy, I was going to say, oh, dude, I've got loads of these. I'm running out of stamina. Do you want one? And then drop it and run. But a lot of people don't fall for that now because I've put it in at least one or two videos. But when he was so innocent, I was a bit unsure. And also, I've got so little stamina. Part of me worries that I drop the grenade and then try to run away and kill myself. Garrett, you can definitely get a decent gaming PC at PC Specialist, without a shadow of a doubt. Exclamation PC. If you're based in Europe, use the code TRMZ for a little bit of money off. Yeah, he seemed kind of cool. And the other thing is, like, he's he's ran all the way from the coast, right? If we go to Berezino and I see a new spawn, I'm quite happy to blow them up. I don't really give a shit, but... He spent probably an hour, an hour and a half at least, getting that far right. It's so much more painful to troll someone with a death there. Like, people might not think I have any morals, but there is a little bit of thought into it. If you're going to, like, callously blow someone up just for the sake of it, if you can, try to do it with someone that's nearer the coast that's not been playing very long. It's a bit harsher to do it to some poor dude that's all the way in Severograd, and then he thinks you're helping him, and then he blows up, and now he's got to do it all again. Oh, I did get Cedric in the barrel, didn't I? I did get him, but he was a stream sniper, so he deserved it anyway, or stream stalker. He was watching the stream and we knew it. He could be been caught already, so uh, that dude deserved blowing up. What's, what's baffling, I guess, is that he used the stream to find me and then stopped watching the stream, I guess, because otherwise there's no way he would have gone on the mine, I guess, you know? I don't actually have a problem with killing Fresh's Walk Moose. I think if you do it in a funny way, I don't... Don't get me wrong, it, like, I'm not extolling the virtues of going to Electro and shooting M4s at new spawns all day. It's a bit boring, a bit sad, but... I don't really see with a big deal with the ethics in killing a new spawn. They've just spawned in, they've not lost anything, you know? Who, who fucking cares? I'm not looting this. But what I am doing is keeping an eye out for dudas. I'm going to stay closer to the road now in the hope that we'll uh, we'll maybe see some players. Uh, Mafu, thank you for the five months. Nia Neil, thank you for the 12 months. Akashi, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Very kind, all three of you guys. Thank you very, very much. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel, Akashi. Cheers very much indeed, dude. Thank you. Just a quick reminder, guys. It's not in the title. I've been talking about it on Twitter, but I am... Uh, most of this week, I'm going to be off. My kids are here for half term, so I'm streaming today. Kind of worked out quite nice that I'm, I chose today as the stream day, given that the new patch dropped. But uh, I'm streaming today, and then I won't be live again until possibly Sunday. Maybe I might get one more stream in, but I doubt it. Uh, they're here They're here for the rest of the week. They go back Sunday, so it's just whether I uh, squeeze another one in or not. I doubt I'll be able to. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Possessed stone, oh dear. Well, Garrett, yeah, it is. To be honest, though, take, taking a few days off, I, I enjoy it, but it doesn't feel like a holiday. It, it <laughs> stay, take, like, the weather's bad. There's nowhere to go, really, that, that's worth doing. There's nothing out of the cinema, so I should think we'll mostly just do, like, films and, like, have a walk. If it's nice, we'll go to the park or whatever, but it won't really be, like, a any kind of vacation. I'll end up, like, bored out of my brain playing fucking Monopoly or something. It's nice to see the kids. Don't take that the wrong way, but it won't feel like a break. <laughs> Red line up. I've been racking my brains about it, actually, in terms of fun. Hello, by the way. Hope you're good. But I, I don't... Like, there's nothing out of the cinema. There's nothing I really want to do. Like, I'm, I'm not that far from London, but there's nothing really I want to do on a day out like now. It, today it was pissing it down, and it's been quite windy. The weather's a bit shit, so the the coast is out. You know, it's just it's that time of year. It's February. It's in England. You know, there's not much to do on a day out. Uh, I th I'm not really sure. I, maybe I'm not being very adventurous, but I, there are things I could think of. But with the weather being a bit shit, mm. yeah, I can watch Encanto another three times. That'll be good. And I'm, I actually have to be honest, I really like just chilling out and watching a film with the kids as well. I'm kind of good with that. Like, uh, one of the two, Maggie, she's she's really into it. She's a lot like me. She'll sit and cuddle up and just watch a film. It's kind of cool, right? But the, the bigger one, Sophie, she, she really has to like the film. Otherwise, she's on her phone within about 20 minutes. Uh, well, art project and Lego thing, that sounds great for them. <laughs> oh, and there's, there'll, there'll be something we can do. I've not got anything planned like set in stone, like a day out to the zoo or anything like that. We'll come up with something, but the cinema's out. Something like the zoo, the weather's just too bad for it. It's just not It's not the, a good time to do it, so I don't really know. I might take them shopping, actually. That's a bit boring, but uh, I did say that I'd get them some stuff for, uh, like for their birthdays like like take them out on a shopping day i gave them money both of their birthdays are really close close to christmas so i gave them money for their for their birthdays because they maggie's birthday is three days after christmas she doesn't need like two two loads of presents on the same day nearly uh so i did say i'd take them shopping and and maybe we'll do that i don't know sounds fucking horrendous Go to the British Museum and leave them there for... Now, that's something I could do. That, that, that kind of thing would be okay. And I've, I've done that with them, but not a long time ago. There's some really good museums in London, but... I don't know. Daddy Dangu, yeah, I'm, I'm divorced. My kids live with their mum, and it's like 70 miles away. But they, I have them for like half of... Every other weekend, half of all holidays and whatnot. Well, it doesn't cancel it out, Yoda, but they literally could op open a load of presents on Christmas Day, and then they leave, they leave here on the 27th, and Maggie's birthday is the 28th. Um, th she doesn't need, like, when she goes home, she's got to open all of her Christmas presents from her mum as well, you know, so I think a decent amount of cash to, to take her on a shopping day is a bit of a better choice than buying her a load of stuff. She couldn't come up with a Christmas list this year, Maggie, my 10-year-old. She struggled like fuck to come up with things that she wanted because she's fucking got it all, the lucky cow. <laughs> she hasn't really, but she's got like she's got things that she wants, you know. She I don't mind giving money as a present, but to a ten year old it's a bit boring, you know. If her if her birthday was in the middle of the year, I'd never do it. Like she's too young. When they get older, money is better, but at ten, that there's still cool presents she can have. He looks injured. He is injured. <laughs> if you're not dead, you'll fucking wanna be.
<laughs> Poor guy. What had he done to deserve it, eh? And he hasn't got NBC gloves on. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He hadn't done anything to anyone. Not a sausage. Let's have his battery, though. We needed to kill him. I desperately needed that battery. Not true, I, I swear he yelled, Moo! <laughs> oh dear. That was a good grenade. You can t One thing I can assure you of, guys, if that was uh, like a squad of three and they were all rocking seriously good gear, there's no way that grenade would have bounced through and gone in the room like that. But because it was one guy that was severely injured and I could have killed him with a single 9mm round to the toe, the grenade went perfectly into the room, obviously. Naturally, it worked for him, you know. <laughs> and I have thrown grenades in unlikely places and killed geared squads in the past, but it never really works that way. Uh, Garrett, thank you for gifting Don Cozy Stick the sub. That's very kind, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Thanks a lot, Garrett. Basement Baller, thank you for the new sub as well. Very, very kind. So I just had that little chat before about how I couldn't kill people from further away and all that. But I didn't talk to that guy. So whilst I'm, again, I'm, we're on the subject of Daisy Morals, there's no right or wrong. You can kill whoever you want, wherever you want. There's no right or wrong. But that dude there, the injured guy, I felt like I could blow him up. But if I got close enough to talk to him and he sounded vaguely at all okay, I then wouldn't have been able to kill him. So I thought it was best to kill that one before we spoke. I wonder if he did this. There's a dead zombie there. I wonder if he killed it or if it was somebody else. What about freshies? Well, like I said before, I, I, when I say this... I, Hello? 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 Hi. Hello? Neither Hi. You, or, you or your mate haven't got NBC gloves, have you? I'm desperate for NBC gloves. We'll trade for something. No, 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 sorry. Uh, wait, let, let, give me a second. Let me finish it. Alright. Hello, guys. Go play. No NBC gloves? No, man. Good, sorry. All right, not to worry. I'm going to go this way then. Good luck. Good Love, you, man. Love you, bye. Fucking hell. I saw I saw one of them moving in the window. I thought I think I saw the blue one in the window as we were coming towards the building. They were a little bit uh, skirty, weren't they? Like movement-wise, they weren't exactly solid. Let's say. Now I know I had my gun out, but there was two of them, and uh, I was way more geared than them. And I think once they'd see me with my gun out, I think it would have been unwise to like step back from it. You know, like if I put my gun away and then they get those out, I'm yeah. I, I think we did that was okay. We dealt with that all right. I th if this vi if this goes to YouTube unedited, unedited viewers, I'd just like to point out that I've seen four. I've only killed one. So if you're in the chat going, "What did you kill that for?" Oh, I'm actually 75% friendly. Just look at it that way. No need to mither. Just be positive about the three that I didn't kill. Uh, Dan, thank you very much for the two months. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Cheers for the... Sorry, it's not for the two months. For the two gifted subs. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you very much. And the, and the other one as well. So that's three, not not two. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the support, Dan. Very kind. LFC, thank you for converting your Prime sub as well. Uh, Garrett, cheers for gifting Don. And hello, Daisy Twitter. Not Twitter, Twitch account. Dealy, I hope you're good. Makes a change. I'm always friendly. I'm Mr. Friendly. I'm Mr. Friendly. That's my name. That name again is Mr. Friendly. In the winter, I have a plough. I really want some NBC gloves. Like, that would be really quite nice. Big Slick. No, I'm not, I, I've not seen... Well, I've, I've, I was going to say I've not seen anyone else. I've seen four players. I've uh, I've Kobe'd some poor dude with a grenade, but he was injured anyway. It was like uh, it was like wringing the neck of a myxomatosis rabbit. It was just the right thing to do. Poor guy. He did, he was running around looking all lost, you know, didn't know what what way he was going. We we've helped him, but the other three they were okay. <coughs> Marks, thank you for the follow. Yeah, nobody wants to be Mr. Friendzone, do they? So, I've got a full NBC suit, except for gloves. And I've checked Severograd, hospital and fire station. Uh, obviously, I didn't loot that hospital there, because there was people there, unfortunately. And they I don't think they had NBC gloves. One of them wasn't even wearing gloves, from what I remember, so they, they won't have had them. But I am actually really surprised we've not found them yet. There wasn't any at Tissy. The two guys that were killed, only one of them had them, and I fucking shot them. Uh, and now we've got the fire station here at Chennai Palana, and then the northeast airfield. And if we don't find them in either of those two places, we're kind of shit out of luck. I don't know. What, I don't, we're like running out of space, places where we could find them. I guess the northeast airfield is our very best chance. But it makes no sense to Hello. run straight there. What we're doing is right, I think. R looting our way there. Bloody Hoofs, thank you very much for the bits. That's really kind. Cheers for the support, dude. Appreciate it. Thought I had a zombie aggro. That wasn't aggroed on me. Obviously not. I'm hearing things. Uh, Dragtan, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Very, very kind. Thank you. I think I said this the last time I was here, but back in the day, years ago, I remember there being fire station loot in these, but I don't think it's in here anymore. Same goes for this building here, but I think that shed maybe, but we might as well check it. This might spawn it. Yeah, firefighter's jacket. I don't think this is uh, fire station, but we'll check it anyway. The best place to get NBC gloves at this fire station is the scaffolding at the back. If you, if you're after a cheeky filter or something like that, it's the it's the the scaffolding seems to be the uh, the main uh, the main loot spot. NBC hood, firefighter hats, another one of those. It's uh, not very a good one. We'll leave that. Thanks. Well, that sucks. Two NBC items, but how many hoods have I seen now? I must have seen loads of hoods and not seen a single pair of gloves. What about these? That's not fire station gear. Neither is that. Boo. Oh, if my bitrate went for a while, yeah, just like let people know to refresh it. it. My connection to the Twitch server occasionally drops. It comes back. It sounds like it's back. I'm in the green bitrate-wise, so it should be good. Got one of those. Dude, we're finding decent NBC loot. We're finding loads of stuff, but 
As ever, the law of DayZ states if you're after one thing only, you won't find it. For a split second, I thought that was NBC gloves. I must be desperate. A blue women's suit jacket looks like NBC gloves. You know you're in trouble. It's kind of a weird thing for that to be there. Radio. Yeah. Well, not weird. I just don't normally see it as all. But anyway. All right. I think I'm going to fill my uh, my canteen, not my canteen, my my cooking pot up at the well, and then we're going to get ourselves to the northeast airfield. Hi Harry, how you doing? I, I thought it was interesting yesterday, Harry, that you were talking about how you were you'd made dinner and applied some uh, lube, i.e. wine, I think it was, to your missus, and were waiting for your Valentine's Day treat, and then your Twitter went completely silent. Like, I don't know if you were busy or maybe you fell asleep. <laughs> I hope you had a good night, dude. Hey Lone Wolf, how you doing? Thanks for coming in, Lone Wolf Pack. Hope you're good. Don't even need any loot, do I? I don't even know why I'm looking. I, I am full stomach, but let's just drink a bit more. It'll be all right. It feels quite open. I don't like it. His bare ass out, eh? Blimey. Uh, Dragtan, thank you again for the... Uh, thank you again for the... Uh, thank you, dude. I appreciate the... Uh, quite a lot of zombies. I wonder if there might be a player nearby. Hospital in Svet. Yeah, I don't think it's worth going there, dude. The, there's a single blue hospital building in Svetlo, but this way there's like, I don't know, like eight different uh, yellow tents at the northeast airfield. So I can go to Svetlo and find one blue hospital, or I can go slightly less far to find like ten different things that spawn it, you know. And also at Krasnostav, which is right next door, there's one of those blue hospital buildings too. So the percentage play is the way I'm going. Water biscuit. Thank you for the new sub. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Harry, oh, ate yourselves into a food coma, eh? You've been married more than a year, surely. <laughs> uh, Capitom, it's always been like it. I don't know how they can fix it. Uh... I guess it might be possible, like, to make it so it only takes food items. Whilst, like, like you can only put food in it when it's got water in it. I, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if they fixed it, to be fair. I don't really... I've never really... I know, you're right, from a, from a logistics point of view, it makes absolutely no fucking sense, of course, right? But neither does the fact that I can keep it in this M65 jacket, you know? It's just... <laughs> Like, the, I don't see how that that cooking pot is not bulging out of my jacket. Do you know what I mean? Like, do they fix that as well? You, where does that end? But from I, I can kind of see it, but I, it's never really bothered me, to be honest. It's not killing anyone, is it? That's the thing, you know, like... Some exploits, there used to be, like, things like you could put, like, bicycle, bike, bike helmets in vests. And people believed that by having that in the vest, it was giving them more ballistic protection. And it may well have been true. But that's actually killing people, you know. You're getting extra, like, protection from bullets by, like, gaming the system a little bit, you know. Whereas keeping some stuff in a in a cooking pot is not really directly stopping you dying or saving someone else or whatever, you know. It's not that big of a deal. Marks, I've not seen a bison all day, and I've looted some seriously heavy military bases. We've been around the whole of Tissy, uh, and like three or four military bases on top of that, and I've not seen a bison. I had two full 64-round mags, I just dropped them. Hi, Mad Chad, hope you're good, thank you for coming in. The 
The game explicitly states cans of food can give you ballistic protection. Where does it state that, Warp Nose? Please fill me in. I mean, cans of food can't give you protection, so where it says it, where it explicitly states it, states it, please let me know. <laughs> the wiki, the wiki is a bit out of date. Or it can be, anyway. Craig, the uh, the bison in uh, in Daisy Stable is three eighty. You just need to hold the can of fruit out in front of the oncoming bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can, can, can. They read small print in can. Okay. I can't see it. I have only got one can. I haven't read the small print on the cans like the beans for like forever. And you used to be able to get a little bit of extra benefit with your uh, ballistic protection by having an item in every uh, every slot as well. Like if you had a vest on and you put... Wobo did a video of it, didn't he? Years ago this was. Four or five years ago. If you put a single piece of paper in each slot of your vest, it gave you better protection than if you had, like, one big thing in your vest. Right, there could easily be people exterminate, here. I've not robot lady. Spal, thank you for the four months. That's very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Right, please, give me gloves. Give me gloves or give me strength. Come on. Someone's dropped all the stuff out. Working gloves, for fuck's sake. I think someone's loot cycled this. I could be wrong, but this here, they don't spawn there. And there's, like, in that last one, there was nothing inside it. I think someone's dropping this, the loot out. Uh, maybe not in this one, Keep so ma maybe it was a while ago. Spring. Uh, Bobby, thank you very much. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for the resub. It is nearly spring, isn't it? The days definitely are getting longer. It's kind of cool, actually. I have to say, more loot outside the front. I think somebody's dropped shit out of the tents, but it could have been ages ago. It wasn't necessarily recent. Still haven't found a blood bag. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. We ain't going to find him, are we? I don't, I don't really need an M4. I'm happy enough with the M16. It's great and all, but inside uh, Riffy Boat, we can get suppressors for this M16, and we can also get the M42, you know? like I, I wouldn't mind an M4. It'd be better than no M4. I think we're going to go to Krasnostad and have a look in the hospital there then, I guess. Oh, Mr. Handman, I'm sure they are, and I found I found two mags and and just not not the gun. But I don't really need a bison, you know. I've I've got a Glock, I've got I've got suppressors for it. I've got an M16 and a Mosin, so I'm kind of okay loot wise. But I would have took a bison until I dropped I dropped the mags in Severograd. I think the civilian barracks is a stretch. You'd have to be really lucky. Y you can get them there, but. It's going the wrong way. I, I think I'm better off doing Krasnostad Hospital and then Berezino. Spal and Bobby Two Socks, thanks again for the resubs. Very kind. Thank you. The rain's kind of dying down again. 
That's one thing. I don't know if they've changed anything with the rain or not, but I think it's probably more luck than judgment. But so far, when it's rained, it's only rained for a little while, and then it's gone again. It's not felt quite so oppressive. A dead player or a dead zombie? I can't really tell. What is Grandma doing with a red boonie? That really doesn't go, Grandma. So it's a dead zombie. Maybe our friend that already looted the, the tents has come this way clutching his NBC gloves in his hands. You don't clutch gloves, you just wear them, but maybe he's wearing the NBC gloves anyway. I think Grandma might be colour bland with a, with a green dress and a, a red, uh, red beanie. Boonie. Don't shoot him in the hands then. You, you're right, Sumu. I've got the accuracy to intentionally shoot someone in the hands without a shadow of a doubt. You know? I could probably choose which finger I shot him in, to be honest. That's not a pistol. That didn't sound particularly juicy. I don't think it was at me. I think it was in the hill, though. I don't think that was a Winchester. No, it sounded more like a repeater to me or something like that. It sounded like weak. Weak rifle is my gut instinct. it sounded like it was up the hill. It didn't sound like it was at the police station. I, I don't think it was the PD. I, I might check it on the way, but I think maybe the civilian barracks might be where it was. It sounded too far away to be the PD. And it also sounded much more like that line as well. It's the PD, but we'll see. <laughs> and to be fair, after shooting, he could have moved. I haven't got time to uh, piss about, so if he's around the hill, I'd quite like him to know I'm here. I think it was at the uh, I think it was at the civilian barracks. It sounded far enough away. It also sounded muffled, uh, which it might do if it was over the other side of the hill. They they kind of resonate a bit different. So it was, it was like it was in the forest or the other side of the hill kind of thing, you know. I, I think that's a good possibility. I don't think we're going to see who it was. I should think it was somebody just shooting the zombie. There's normally only like one or two zombies at the civilian barracks. My guess is it was somebody there. And I'm going to take this epinephrine and just sprint that way. Yeah, I've got it. I said I'd pick my kids kids up about eight o'clock, and it's like seven minutes to eight, so I've six minutes to eight, so I've really got to go. 
I haven't got very long, but long enough just to run to this barrack and see if we can find whoever fired. Maybe try and track down their NBC gloves. The one problem is I'm so I'm trying so hard to get there as quick as I can that I could end up like because I'm running in a straight line as a result I could end up like getting shot in the back. To be honest though, if it's a repeater that shoots me in the back, I'll just tank it. Even if it hits me in the head, it won't knock me on con. It takes a little while to loot these. If you had to change a backpack or something like that, he could still be here, but beyond that, I seriously doubt it. The zombies are upright. Look. Well, there's two of them upright anyway. No dead zombie here. I, I don't think it was here. I wouldn't recommend you do it, Joito, unless you're really, really desperate, because it will taste like fucking shit. <laughs> Apparently homemade is the best way to make or well, to have gluten free though, so but I really wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. Like bread without any of the things that make it nice. This has been looted recently. I wonder. I, I wonder if it was on the top of the hill. It seemed like a. It sounded like a repeater to me. My guess would be repeater, but I've no fucking clue. I really, I really don't know. in my eyes peeled it, it could have been a shot it might have been up near the tower but yet again I, and if it was they're not there now are they I, I just don't know I'm going to quickly quickly get up the hill and have a little look see if there's a dead zombie at the tower it'd be nice to work out where they were if they were at the tower and they'd shot a zombie there they could have come down looking for me after I baited that Mosin shot but I seriously doubt it the little green watchtowers don't spawn loot in vanilla sugarloo they spawn loot on some of the modded maps but the green military watchtowers by the walls don't spawn loot on Chernerus or Livonia if you're playing vanilla. So there's no point checking them.
you do get zombies up here, which is what I thought we might find. But oh, normally you get like one or two, perhaps, but obviously not. It's a little bit of a shame. We were we were bloody close to that shot, but just a little too far away. And a single shot, it could have been a shot at an animal or something. It could have been in the forest. Like a shot at a boar or a deer or whatever it might have been, you know. It, it probably wasn't a firefight. Uh, it was either a zombie or more likely an animal. And it was for food. Just having a little look, because they were close-ish. They might have been on this hill. And so they may have come this way looking after that that bait shot that I fired. They may also have gone back down towards the uh, the tents as well. I'm just going to very, very quickly check that. Overlook houses for smoke. Yeah. I, I'm going to check the, the tent. It's not a bad shout. If it, was a, if it was a shot to kill an animal, there could be smoke in the town. It's not a bad shout, but... Given that we're already right here, I think we might as well have a look this way. And we saw that dead zombie down at that group of houses down there. And then the, the zombies as you arrive into the, the town itself were all still upright. So I wonder if the guy that killed that zombie perhaps went towards the barns and then came up this hill instead. Maybe he didn't go to Crescentstab. There's no zombies. If there was players there, there would be zombies around there. I do. I do. It's it's just gone 8 o'clock, guys, so unfortunately I have got to go. Uh, I've tried as hard as I can to find the, the repeater guy. Mainly because I was hoping we might be able to steal his NBC gloves, however we do it, but that ain't going to happen. Uh, I've got to call it there, guys. Uh, like I was saying earlier in the day, my kids are here for half term this week, so there may not be a stream till Saturday. And just in case, today's stream's been pretty good. It's a shame we haven't got to the gas zone yet, but it was a decent quest that far. If you're watching on YouTube, if I happen to put this up, I might put this up unedited on Thursday. Uh, there may not be a video on Sunday. It just depends whether I get time to edit or not, because my kids are here, and so strictly speaking, I'm meant to be on holiday. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Sydney, thank you for the bits. You're very, very kind. Spal and Bobby, thank you for the resubs before that. Guys, that's it from me. Like I say, I'm a little bit late, so I'm not going to do a raid or anything. I've gone a bit longer than I meant to. Uh, there's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for checking out my streams. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, guys. New experience. Cheers for the resub as well. Thank you very much. I'll be back again maybe one day this week. If not, I'll be back on Sunday when the kids have gone home. Thanks a lot for coming in, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you next time. Love you. Bye.